any items to your basket per day for only one p and Enjoy shopping with Jewelry Maker. <laughs> good morning, good morning. It's fantastic to have your company on this not so glorious weather wise day, but we are having an absolute hoot here this morning at Jewelry Maker. Amelia's on the floor on her hands and knees trying to find something she's dropped, God bless her. And I'm joined by the wonderful Natalia Coleman. It's, it's fabulous to have you here this morning, my dear. Good morning. Good morning. Hello, Jenny. Good morning, my darling. Now, we've all been <laughs> gossiping this morning, haven't we? And, we uh, have. We not have doing to what we're supposed to be doing. No. And getting no. on with things uh, but you know what uh, keep interactive with us today we absolutely love your company uh, send us a text 60777 at uh, James Studio followed by your message we also love to hear from you via Facebook so you can get involved that way or you can email us in with any of your comments or questions for the gorgeous Natalia I have got a birth gemstone box including a diamond for you today I am so excited it's coming up about midday we have got silver glow I love silver clay. I'm obsessed with it. It is my. I said to Natalia on the phone last night, I'm going to get team silver clay t-shirts made up for both of us. I think we need them. I think we do. And baseball caps. Encrusted with diamonds. I think as we're talking about diamonds today. We are talking about diamonds today. I think we'll, we won't bother getting Amelia to find, uh, find our diamonds no. for us because she's on the floor right now, hands and knees. <laughs> Um, she is funny. I've got a collector's box for you. If you're into your serious gemstone, so I have got for you the garnet collection. So much for you to get involved in. Let me just pop my earpiece back in. It is all. Do you know what? We're in good spirits today. Even Claire, who um, is on a holiday come down. You know that feeling you get after you're back home, after you've missed home and then you get back and think, actually, I, I wish I was back on holiday. Claire's like that today, but we hopefully we'll cheer you up, Clary, darling. We have got, my, do you know what? I just, um, I had a little bit of a squeal about these pearls a minute ago, didn't I, Natalia? It's like, ah, the pearls, I love them. You, you know what I'm like. No. I literally, yeah, it, yeah I, did, uh, I did shatter windows when I saw the, these pearls in my high-pitched tones. <gasps> Love them. Let me turn them around. There you go. Oh, my gosh. Need them, love them, want them. Got to have these. I love the way they're drilled, so they sit like that. We'll talk about yeah, that later. Yeah, they're good, aren't Amazing. they? I like that. I love them. I've also got... A strand, and I am extremely excited by this. Keep sorry, I keep fiddling with that. <gasps> so god, absolutely beautiful, super duper sparkly, very very high end. I have got zircon for you, gorgeous. Oh, I love this gemstone. Look at that. I love today. We're all very happy about today. I've got Natalia. I've got the uh, silver clay. How could I be any happier? We've got diamonds. We've got zircon. And we have got for you an early bird deal that's going to make you smile too. Antique findings are always fabulous in our stash, aren't they? And I've got for you post and butterfly backs. Got a little bit of an obsession with post and butterfly backs, have I? I think uh, I love the way the gemstones hang from a post and butterfly back. And also, we were speaking to Gemma the other day, and actually she made a really valid point, and I thought, yes, you know when you have your hair up, you almost don't want the shepherd's hook because you've got that space, especially for brides that um, maybe don't have anything sort of going on around the shoulder out here. You need that on your lobe, obviously, to take up the space, and for delicate, for delicate earrings, perfect. For any of you with the Gems of Distinction strand, perfect have a look i've got i'm just gonna actually hold them up with my tweezers because i think that's probably gonna look a little bit better you've got the eye hole on these i love these antique findings i'm a little bit obsessed with swellagant and i know you are too we got a little bit of swellagante coming up have you used that uh, natalia darling have, yes it's 
<gasps> Isn't it it's absolutely brilliant. wonderful? It's yes. absolutely amazing. I love vintage pieces. They look yes. expensive and classy. And I just love that you, all you've got to do is dip it in and you've got something in it. Swell again is pretty much instant, isn't it? Let's talk about the deal that we've got today because we've got these wonderful antique findings for you. Post and butterfly backs. And you've got a hundred pairs. E-coated as well are these antique bronze findings, which means when you put them in your ears, they will be hypoallergenic. E-coating prevents rusting. You've got a hundred pairs, 100 pairs of earrings that you can create. So potentially we're talking about your profit margins here. I think if you're going to buy a hundred findings, it's probably a business idea for you. Or maybe you've just started jewelry making and you want as much equipment. Maybe you're gonna have some downtime. You're gonna get your head down and you're gonna really concentrate on making some gorgeous earrings. They make perfect gifts. Earrings are probably the first thing that your customers are going to buy from you because if they are trying you out earrings can be uh, earrings and rings can be one of the lowest cost items that you put on your stand or take to your jewelry party when you've got a hundred pairs if you've got loads of gemstones in your stash at the moment great idea to pick up the phone hundred pairs of antique bronze post and butterfly backs are these elements that you use Natalia often oh definitely and I have some in one of my kits today not these particular have ones you? but um, I've got the antique bronze and it just looks wonderful you'll see you know with the chain and you know how, how lovely and it's so now it's so current isn't it all these different metals that are mm -hmm. in fashion um, but I, I use bronze clay you see and so I never really had findings that I could put with the bronze I always used to use gold or use silver and so now you know you have this perfect seamless piece because everything's all yes. in half Harmony. So it's I wonderful. You're so right. If you use the bronze, of course, of course, it's obvious, isn't yeah. it? If you use the bronze clay, this is perfect for you. If you're not sure what the bronze clay is, I've got some coming up for you later and I'm uber excited about that. Stay tuned with us today. It's a miserable day outside. Don't you go anywhere. You put your feet up, cup of tea. It'll be the weekend tomorrow. You enjoy your Thursday and get involved with us this morning. The original price tag for 100 pairs of antique bronze poster butterfly backs is £12.95. Then they were slashed to 9.95, which is incredible for a hundred pairs. But you know what? It wouldn't be the early bird if we weren't doing something you hadn't seen before. So here you have it. A little cheeky deal for you this morning to open your baskets with. For eight pounds and ninety-five pence, you are getting 100 findings, 100 post and butterfly backs. These are gonna last and last and last what an incredible incredible deal the code that you need is bdgp35 you do need to check out baskets if you are shopping with us on jewelrymaker.com we love 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 having all of your company this morning and every day and every night We've got the gorgeous die on later on this evening so make sure you're tuning in at 5 p.m you've got a 30-day money-back guarantee even on your post and butterfly backs if you decide you don't want them you simply send them back that 0800 6 555 number is a free phone number if you're dialing now um big quantities of these already being allocated on the website hope you're having a fabulous day maybe you've just got back from the school run maybe you've just woken up having your first cup of tea a great big good morning to you now we have got such an action-packed show for you. We are challenging the gorgeous Natalia today. You have your challenge, have you? I have my challenge. I have my sticky mitts all over the challenge already. Uh, my sticky <laughs> mitts. So they're not sticky. Now I don't think I've got. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go and have a look at Natalia's. Let's walk on over. I'll bring my tea with me so we can have like a little. What a shame, you know thing. what, I've just cut up the strand and, and what a shame that I did that because actually in no, between each one there was a little oh. crimp. Really? And it looked absolutely fantastic. I wonder if we, have we not got a, a have we not got another one, one of these? It would be really great if we had because I really want to show we'll you how great they We'll see it later on they said we've got, we've got one. Okay. But there was a crimp in between each, each bin and I've never thought of doing that. A crimp in between? Yeah. How, and these are like mystic-y almost. Yeah. I can use them in the normal crimpy way, yeah? They, if I, I need to. I think so. Either that or, or they're just like a little tube. Oh, they lovely. kind of gives me an idea now, you know, with the antique bronze findings. Yes. The crimps in between <gasps> stones. I love them. Isn't it? I love, look at these. Aren't they gorgeous? 
have a look at what Natalia's got as well. What a beautiful combination you've got to work with today. No, did you choose them? I did see you over there by the desk. No, did I, you choose them I or did Kim choose them? I am very honest, Kim chose them, but Kim's got a really good taste. Kim she's just, very good eye for a bead, Kim. She's got, yeah, she's got like the, the radar, the, the, the she's bead got radar. She's the bead she? dar, yeah, yeah, that's what she's she got. Has. She's, she's in it, almost good. like in the dark, she senses, she puts her hands over the beads, she knows which one. She knows, she knows what's, what's occurring, that one. She does. And so, you know, if I don't do something great, it's, it's all my fault. It's not to do with the, the tools I've been given to work you're, with. You're always going to do something great because you are Natalia Coleman. Now, actually, speaking to I you on the phone, so. uh, Natalia <laughs> um, has the most amazing talent for Silver Clay and actually talk about you quite a lot in my evening shows about Silver Clay and things Indeed. like that. My ears um, are burning tonight. Yeah, last night I was <laughs> referencing, did you hear last, no, no. how you answered the phone yesterday? Oh, I loved no. it. Natalia Coleman. I went, ooh. <laughs> That's because I thought it was somebody else calling. No, I didn't. <laughs> Who did you think? It was an unidentified number, and I thought, who could this be? It's a, it's a hot you man, know? and then you're like, oh, it's you, Jenny it's Clary. I'll man, go back yeah. to normal now. Uh, no, I only know cold men. Yeah. <laughs> I come from the north. I only we know will, cold men. We will change that. We will change that. I'm sure there are a lot of hot men in the north, you know. Mm. Now, um, you've been given the most wonderful strands. Mm. Early inspiration? Early inspiration. I want to try and mix them up because mm. you know that they don't necessarily, you wouldn't necessarily put them together, but I want to have a go. I know that I've got some antique findings. So I want to try and bring those in as well. I want to make sure that the tassels get used because you know, we're all up for, for upcycling every little last bit of the things that we have. It seems you know, people do amazing things with the tassels. So. Well, true crafters yeah. never throw anything no, away, we do they? do we? That's why we have to have a second home for all of our hoard. Is that what you've got? Well, no, but I'm working on it. Yeah, well, <laughs> <laughs> brick by brick, she's working on yes, it. Yes, yeah. Then, Natalia, <laughs> just the most incredible combination here mm. with the gemstones. I actually, I would probably put them together. They're very yes. elegant and they've both got such an amazing iridescence to them. Here they we do. go. Yeah. I've got the other strand here and you're right, the spaces look fantastic. Yeah, look I love these. Yeah. I think they're beautiful. Like little crystal balls, aren't they? Like little disco balls, but irregular shapes. And I like the way that both of them are faceted, but in different ways. So I love texture, you know, I love to see different textures and cuts together. Do you know what this is? No. <laughs> I is just it pyrite? Look, I'm going to tell you, I just looked at it and look, can you see now, if I move it, you get that yeah. travelling. Yeah. This is coated. Oh, Koji Tiger's Eye. I've, I've seen never, that. I, I have haven't. I've seen that. Carol had a strand um, last time I was on. Oh my gosh. But I've never got to work with it as a challenge. So it's this is really. Beautiful. I've never seen. Honestly, I just looked at it. Now, I, I was about to tell you it was coated pyrite. Yeah. And I looked at it and I just mouthed down the camera. This isn't pyrite. You can and Claire see said, it, can't you? no, it's tiger's. Mm. I cannot mm. believe my eyes. This is absolutely mesmerizing. Now, there's, I, I can't see, when I'm looking at my monitor there, what I'm seeing is very different, in fact, mm. to what you're seeing mm. on the screen. You get not only this amazing mystic coating, but you know how the tiger's eye, you seem to get that amazing sort of iridescent traveling around yeah, the gemstone. Yeah. You've got that, <laughs> and it's amazing. You can really see that kind of light bounces off it, doesn't it? <sighs> which is what you'll see when you order this and you get it home. Oh, Natalia, I'm so jealous of you this morning. I know, morning. I'm blessed, aren't I? Working with you today and then getting that strand. Oh, oh. Double dip of pleasure. Oh, I love this lady. <laughs> now, I'm going to give these to you. OK. We've got you. that amazing. Last night when I rang you, I was so excited. Yes, you and were. And I um, literally, you didn't get a word in those rays. I said, oh, my God, blah, 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 blah. we got birth gemstones yeah. and they're amazing. I had to lie down, down afterwards after you'd spoken. Did you? To yeah, I'm sorry. I remember. I, I got off the phone and I went downstairs and I thought, oh, I just really just, <laughs> I do that a lot to people. But people who are used to me, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. all right, Jenny, bye. I do that a lot. So sorry about that. Um, but I am excited. I've been excited for two days about our show wow. today. And um, I'm very, very excited. Let's go on over. I'm going to take my jewellery maker you mug with going. me. And if you want the jewellery maker mug, you've got a lovely cup of tea there. Uh -huh. Tea does tend to taste nice out of these jewellery maker mugs. If you it, want them, they're available on it, the website. It does actually in here taste nice because you get, you know, the dregs of whatever was in there previously. So you get a nice <laughs> kind of fusion of flavours, don't you? <laughs> 
<laughs> Sorry, oh, no, don't don't even now, anybody that knows producer De- Deanna, <laughs> she's the worst tea maker I've ever met in my life. Do, you, do I remember the story I told you? Mushroom <laughs> cup of soup with a tea bag in it she gave me once. I've never felt so sick in my life. <laughs> Amelia's tea is good. Amelia's really good. Amelia's tea I'm is good. Don't forget that Amelia. jewelry maker mug is available on our website if you want it. If I keep talking about it, I'm allowed to drink my tea at the same time, so it's all good. Now, Kim, let's start, if I may, with the blue coated quartz because I don't know if Natalia's seen these. I know I've bought you a few. Um, absolutely in love with these. London blue style colour. Now you get the most amazing pinks. Now this strand, um, for me, when I first saw it, reminded me very much of Tanzanite, in fact, because of all these wonderful pinks that travel around this gemstone with the iridescence. If you aren't uh, lucky enough, and I'm certainly not, to ever own a piece of Tanzanite this big, my goodness gracious me, don't these look like Tanzanite? They are just breathtaking, absolutely stunningly, stunningly beautiful. This blue is just utterly, utterly mesmerizing. And when we're talking about making glamorous jewelry that has a subtlety to it, this is the kind of strand that you want. When we're talking about creating jewelry for a ball or for a special event, this is the kind of strand that you want. It could be your something blue. I just want to, if I may, put it against my neckline because I think straight away, for me, I want to make a necklace out of it. Have a look. Don't you think it's beautiful? I mean, the temptation, Natalia, to put a nice white pearl in between these is very strong. I would uh, make rings out of them. Yeah. They're gorgeous. Could I set these into clay? Um, you could set them after firing in the clay. So I'd make and, my uh, setting and then I'd put them in. Yeah, and do, you know, can you imagine if you made a beautiful pendant with silver mm. clay or even copper clay? Can you imagine that? The, the colour contrast. With the with copper, the absolutely beautiful. Yeah. Absolutely beautiful. Can we expect, here's a question for you that's just good. I, just rem I remembered that I had it in my brain. Mm -hmm. Gold clay ever? There is gold clay, yes. It changes uh, price by the day. And um, I, the last time I checked, it was about 300 pounds a gram. So it's quite pricey. I'd like to get some in, however. <laughs> if we could do, if we could work out a payment scheme for things like that, it would be wonderful. Yeah, it? that's right. I don't I mean, know how you feel about that, um, fellow jewellery makers, but if you do, if it is something that you'd feel quite strongly about seeing, please let us know via Facebook. And I will, of course, talk to the powers that be for you on your behalf. If it is something you'd be interested in seeing gold clay, of course it will be expensive, but if that is something you'd like, please let me know. Because when you see We've got silver clay. We've got silver clay and it's beautiful and fantastic. When you see a gemstone like this, uh, the, the reason it e even sprang to my mind is because this reminds me so much of tanzanite. And of course, tanzanite you'd love to encase, wouldn't you? In gold, just so rich, so beautiful. These would be perfect in rings if you want to make your own prong setting, if you want to make your own setting out of your silver clay, if you want to do just like Jo Webb has done with the wonderful prong settings that she's uh, brought to, us, to our screens on the, um, on the Masterclass, CAGK66. Now, the wonderful thing about this strand is the random shapes and sizes, the beautiful color, that fabulous iridescence. I think there is a lot of big ticks here for your jewelry. If you are creating special jewelry, maybe you're creating for a boutique, a uh, very ball gown, isn't it? Very, very ball gown. And if you are thinking about offering your jewelry, maybe you're going to go and set up a little stand in a boutique somewhere. I used to have a shop in Cheltenham, um, a, a, a place called Montpellier in Cheltenham, and I actually had a lady. I don't tell you this story very often. But I had a lady that um, used to, she brought a big glass case into my shop, and she used to fill it up with fabulous jewellery, and she used to sell it. A little did I know I'd be working here, and I used to, she used to give me 10% of whatever she sold the jewellery for, but it was a nail bar that I had in a, a beauty shop and people would buy the jewellery a lot. So a, a great idea perhaps for you to go out and visit those boutique kind of areas and um, and see whether they want your jewellery. And I would always go costume jewellery with things like that, occasion jewellery with things like that. People were coming to have their nails done in my nail bar because they were going out or they were getting married. So always wonderful to be able to offer them for me as a businesswoman, to be able to offer them jewellery as well as that service. So do go in and think about things like that. I just think you'd, you've got a wonderful, wonderful opportunity now. 
to own yourself one of those kind of boutique strands. CAG K66, you're on the phone lines for these already and they're just £12.95 for you this morning. I think if you are individualising these, you are treating them as individuals, then and, and you're thinking about selling your jewellery on, you, you think about them for an individual price. One in a ring, for, let's say, would, would fetch what, about 20 pounds? I think so, because they're big. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 is what you've got on your strand. And it's that beautiful, beautiful color, isn't it? That these gorgeous gemstones all boast very, very tanzanite, in fact, I think in color. So 806, triple four, six, double five, CAG, K66. Let's move on to the first K. Oh, by the way, aren't these lovely with the spacers? You've got those lovely spaces again in these. Natalia's fighting with some ribbon. I can see her. <gasps> Ribbon's there. winning. I feel like a doing? gymnast. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and I took some of that ribbon yesterday and just made a belt out of it. I love that ribbon. Now, the first kit, wonderful. Did you miss out on the leather cord that we had? It's such a shame that we didn't order thousands upon thousands of those because we could have given you thousands upon thousands. I think the next, um, the next best thing to that is the fact that we've got this wax cord in the leather leather like colors in the cream leather color and the tan leather color they are waxed cord wonderful for shambhala fantastic for plaiting very very good in your um in your masculine jewelry if you want to plait it in that way just in a in a friendship bracelet kind of style with one gemstone i think it would look uber cool um i really like these because you've got such lightweight cord here and if you're doing your wish bracelets you've got a wish bracelet by you there um actually kim a wish bracelet like that would be fantastic with the wax cord i'll show you an example of a wish bracelet in a sec i am a little bit obsessed with wish bracelets um it, it, it's got to be said hasn't it and um they are the, the actually gem has made this wish bracelet out of the um leather look white cord cream cord wish bracelets are what's taking the world by storm right now wish bracelets are a sentimental gift Wish bracelets, you know how sweetie bracelets went crazy, the charm bracelets went crazy, sort of Pandora, Lynx of London, Thomas Sabo, and then it was all about the Shambhala bracelet. I think the next craze, well, it's certainly been absolutely taking America by storm, and if, if uh, tradition is anything to go by, it's going to come here too. And it, well, it is here already, the, the shopping channels that sell lots of different kinds of products. One of the, well, probably the most famous one, beginning with Q, uh, sells a wish bracelet for 60 pounds. And, and they're actually made to break because the point of them is that you make your wish and it comes true when the, the bracelet breaks. Anyhow, you've got the cord in there to make those wish bracelets. They're there for you too. Now you've also got the new colors of your ribbon in the mink and that fabulous chocolate diamond color. Absolutely gorgeous. Now let's talk about the wonderful gemstones that you get. Have a look at these. They're like caramel, I love the color. And the great thing about this strand of beautiful honey shell is that it's very, very summery, but will take you into the autumnal tones as well. Did you think, were you confused? Was it moonstone in your mind? It does look a lot like moonstone, doesn't it? And you've also got such a pretty yellow tone. When you put these together, it is very summery, the combination, isn't it? How beautiful, now very summery, I love that. It reminds me of when we used to go to Western Supermare as a child and collect shells and things. Mm -hmm. You know, sand between your toes, sandy, sand in your sandwiches, just those happy childhood memories that strands, when you, colors when you put them together do sort of, do, do, do trigger those, don't they? And gemstones, because they're natural. I really think this is a great British uh, Riviera collection. When you look at these, it's what it reminds me of, your holidays when you're a little girl, or, or, or a little boy, in fact. Um, look at these big pendants. I'm gonna count them, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of them on the strand. Each one different. Botswana agate in this size is a rarity, and aren't these wonderful? They're gorgeous as individual pendants, aren't they? I'd actually be quite tempted to put these in one big ring, obviously um, going that way, 
rather than this. Although you could do the rings that go through two fingers, couldn't you, that everyone's wearing at the moment. Now you've also got the lovely addition, and I'm so pleased that we're doing this now, Natalia, of different coloured beading thread. I think this is a lovely new addition, and I love this colour. Again, in that kind of chocolate diamond colour for you, and you've got 50 metres of that. I'm so pleased to be seeing those different colours because I know as a jewellery maker to use them, it, it's so lovely, isn't it? You've also got your elastic and your monofilament, but you've got the new findings in here too in antique bronze, one of my favourites, so you can create that vintage look. A metre of chain, you've got your eye pins, your head pins, three lots of shepherd's hooks. Oh, these are the new findings though, aren't they, that we've got, not these ones. I think we've got the new ones. Sorry, Claire, sorry, darling. It's the new one, so you've got the new toggle class. We'll find those for you in a second. Very limited stock, this kit. I've got to let you know, we are very, very limited stock. I'm going to give you a price while the gorgeous Claire finds your findings for you. Should be paying uh, 30 pounds for all of this. Botswana Agate on its own, 11.95. And in fact, that's a great price tag for the size of this Botswana Agate. I'll give you the dimensions in just a tickle. It's called Rio Grande uh, CJG C53. That Agate is the yellow agate rounds are four mil. The Botswana agate overs are 42 by 22. We've given you individual pendants that large. Six mil on your honey shell plain rounds. Remember, very limited stock. You should be paying 30 pounds for all of this. 17 pounds and 95 pence, almost half price is what you're paying this morning. And um, the wonderful Claire has found your found it, findings for you. So you also get all of these findings. The new style shepherd's hooks, which I just love you have got those um those fabulous spaces they're like little sort of flat donuts they're lovely and the toggle class work well as toggle class but fantastically well as well um for your cufflinks i always forget the word for cufflinks you've got the ribbon ends in there with the extender cords too your eye pins and your head pins let's get on over to that gorgeous lady 17.95 uh, just to let you know this was a limit this was a limited edition kit so you do need to check out baskets uber fast we had less than 70 um for you, which is really low Kim why have we only got that much that's a bit mean uh, anyone watching the repeats I hope you've got a chance I'm taking my tea over because otherwise it'd be a waste let's go on over to that luscious lady and have a look at what you've been making bring your tea and relax I, oh I Come love over. your jewelry you're so talented oh bless your heart and don't you love these fine? I love what you've done with the ribbons. This is fun and quirky. Yeah, I love getting the ribbon back because, you know, for a few weeks I've just had sterling silver findings in my kits. And, and whilst that was lovely and quite luxurious, I'm really glad to get back to having lots of different Lot elements. More. You've got yeah. more scope for your designs, though, then, Definitely haven't you? Definitely have, yes. And I love these new findings. I mean, the toggle class is crying out I to me at the that, front. I know, I love it. I too. am new, I'm different. Put me front and centre. Don't tuck me behind your hair. And you've done the same, yes, you've done that with um with the wonderful mm. i call it the ship's helm yes it is like isn't that it's like a ship's fabulous. wheel isn't it yeah, it's very nautical and this is such a downton abbey piece that you've created with the draping chain there you've got such a lovely feel a bit steampunk isn't it as well do you know what i'm, I'm getting right into steampunk mm. now because i didn't understand it before i thought i heard no. the word punk and i thought it was punk rock yeah you were thinking johnny rotten weren't you i was mm. i was but i got it wrong yeah very very no, wrong it's not all safety pins and stuff like no. that it's actually um, it's a Victoriana feel as yes. well, isn't it? Yes, So it's yes. got that vintage look, but very modern. And you know, you can do whatever you want. You can, you can sex it up a bit, or you can yeah, make it, it can very retro. Very, it can be both. I love it, and because we're quite a crafty family mm. now mm -hmm. in our household, there's lots of crafts going on. Because obviously, I'm here at Jewelry Maker, and um, we're trying out all different crafts. Because because yeah. uh, my partner does crafty stuff too, and um, and we're having it. We're we're very competitive, and, and, and I'm yeah. like, I, think I don't exactly what steampunk is. <laughs> 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 so I've got, yeah, but isn't it lovely? I'm seeing lots of cake decorating things are being brought yeah. into my house at the moment, and I love. It. I think in all these different techniques, all these wonderful different um, crafts that everybody's learning, let's fusion them together. There's so much scope for that yeah. with, it, within design, isn't there? For Definitely fusioning there talents you already yeah. have. There, there is. There's all these different um, tools and, and things that you can you can draw and you can and take to from one craft to another. 
Definitely, oh, yeah. definitely. But for me, my heart's in jewellery making. Oh, I me too. I love yeah. it. I, I'm getting right into my cake making now, but nothing does it for me like jewellery making. And I think with jewellery making, you've less waste than any other of the crafts, yeah. uh, most of the, of the other crafts. And also, you know, because if you create something you don't love it, doesn't matter, you just undo it, you've always got that genuine gemstone there. Yeah, yeah. And so many, um, do you know what, so many other places, that big crafts and things, just selling faux gemstones. We're so yeah, lucky here because we've got the real, gem, the genuine gemstones. Now you're going to show us a wonderful technique. Which one is it going to be? I'm going to show you that necklace there with the ribbon. I love the this little ribbon bits on. So um, it's like a bit of shabby chic, and it's kind of mixing everything. Very up shabby chic in the in the, uh, in the kit. And so the obvious thing would be to do macrame with the wax cop, but I didn't want to be obvious because it's not really in my nature. And you, it, it's nice to see something different. Mm. You're not an yeah. obvious person, it's no. true. <laughs> I love that you've got that just just coming over those gemstones. And I love, how do you get it so uniform? Well, it looks it's great. quite easy. And it actually picks up the markings on the, on the uh, agate mm. as well, doesn't it? So it's really good. So um, I remember, Jenny, when I first started watching Jewelry Maker, I ordered four pendants for 9.99 of a similar size. Did Yes, I did. do you know, I'm just thinking that we did used to do individual pendants yes. like this. We're so. very lucky to see these on a strand and because we see I them know. every day, I think we, we sort of forget how lucky we are. And, yeah. and if you do go out and shop in those big craft stores, I mean, we all have to go to get for our emergencies sometimes, don't mm -hmm. we? We do, yeah. and I'm never knocking it because it's wonderful, but I just, it does make me realize the value we get yeah. here, so it really kit, and truly you know, does. Really, you, you know, when you, when you look at it, it's fantastic. So. What we have is we have some beautiful ribbon. How did you get that through there, Natalia? Well, a um, little tip that I picked up along the way. I can't remember from who, um, but uh, anyway, thank you, whoever inspired me. But this is a 0.6 wire, a 0.4 wire, sorry, um, that I just found in the drawer. And what I did was I just threaded it through the edge of the organza ribbon. And you can see the edge of the organza ribbon has like this little seam that stops the wire from coming out. So mm -hmm. it acts like a needle. Oh. And then it's really easy just to sewn just it through. make sure it's nice and long so it's longer than the pendant and then you just pull it through. Because I'd have done the stupid thing and tried to get the ribbon through there. Yeah, I've done that, I've been okay. there. Yeah, usually on a live show Sell when I'm trying to do a end, challenge and I'm going, and not all you like that. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even thread a needle, so I don't know no, why I, I thought I could do I do stupid things with my jewellry making and then somebody will say to me, no, Jenny, do. and I'm like, oh, that is so obvious, I'm so <laughs> stupid. You know, it, it, it's one of those things, isn't it? You just do, it's like when I first started stranding seed beads, instead of just going, going straight directly through and then pulling out the cord yeah. that they were on, I took them all off. Oh, I've done yeah, that so yeah. many times. Yeah, we've all been there, don't Really? You? Yeah, you have to do it to learn, don't you? Oh, it was okay. me. I am quite thick. So what I've done is, <laughs> you can hear them laughing in the gallery. Well, it's true. They know it's true. I am really, I say the most way. stupid things. Um, so we've got two of them on here. And so I'm just leaving a little gap between them. You don't have to knot it because we're going to tie a knot with a piece oh, of the, the contrasting ribbon. Love that colour. So this is the creamy... Champagne Minky coloured colour, ribbon. Yeah. I thought you were like champ champagne because it oh, feels Oh, I prefer the ribbon. way you said it. Yeah, champagne, so darling. So just literally do an overhand knot with it. Make sure that... Oops, oh, an <laughs> overhand knot? Yeah, overhand so or overhang? Overhand. So one one over the other. And that's just a like regular that. knot. Just a regular just knot. Just a regular just, knot. Just pull I it thought, tight. I, I'll be honest again, I thought that was some special thing. Um, it was... I, I can't remember who said overhand knot to me and I was like, what's that? I need to learn. I, I wish I'd concentrated in brownies, <laughs> uh, but actually it's just a regular knot. It is just a regular knot. And then keep that, keep those two apart again, and then we're adding a little length of your, you call it chocolate coloured ribbon. So I'm yeah, like a the, chocolate diamond. I'm liking the, the food analogies and the, and the Always with me. Food and alcohol yeah. is a winner. Cappuccino <laughs> oh, coloured yeah. ribbon. Oh yeah, lovely cappuccino. So there we go. So we've got two knots there, and then take your scissors. These are lovely and sharp, these scissors and then just cut a little bit of an angle. Does it make a difference if your scissors are nice and sharp? It Is does it make a difference. And somebody told me that you can actually sharpen your scissors by cutting through aluminium foil, but it doesn't work because I tried it. So if anybody's got an idea, a great old wives tale or, or a young wives tale about how to sharpen scissors. Young wives tale. Please tell me because I have lots of scissors that are very blunt because have I'm always you? cutting foam and paper with my scissors. I'm really naughty. Have you not got, what about a knife sharpener? Will that not work? Probably, yeah. Surely I don't it will. have a knife sharpener. You so could just get our, um, 
our zapper tool. Yes, I could That's do. That's a good one. I could just these. invest in another tool. Because I know. That, there you go, yeah. You need the tool. Isn't so you can see beautiful? if you do that, um, you just do that all the way along. And it looks like a little bit of a sweetie, doesn't it? Yeah. I look like a sweetie necklace. So, mm. what I'm going to do then is show you how I did the cord. Yeah, because that's very neat, Natalia. I'm not sure if I'd be able to do that. I'm just going to take... I'm just going to put this on the overhead as well for you. Isn't this pretty? So, can you see Look I finished the, the end Look of the, the necklace by um, just using a piece of ribbon and then just tying it. So, mm. so, leave a nice bit of excess at the end. And so, taking a whole length of the cord, so the cord comes in two... I think it's probably two one-metre lengths. In each yes, it colour. is. Yes, it is. Yes. Um, and so, don't cut it down. Just fold it in half, mm -hmm. so you've got double, and then start from the middle of your cord and the middle of your necklace. So we we'll start here. It's taking, take the cord and just take it round, wrap it around once on one end, one side of those two um, little knots that you tied with the ribbon mm -hmm. and then can you see you've got oh. just hold that one tight take that across is it all in the tension now at it's this point? all in the tension and then take it around again and then you'll just take it along and then tie a knot as you get to the end so when you get right to the end of your necklace you'll tie a knot and it will hold them all together so Lovely. you can see how well they're staying in place and that is literally it. You could use a different coloured cord if you wanted, but I thought the contrast with the cream was quite nice. How fantastic. And it just gives it this kind of contrast. You could use that in a bracelet as well, couldn't you? you I mean, that would make a really cute like, bracelet. You could do earrings, you could do whatever you like. You could do a double strand with it. That would be really fun, wouldn't mm. it? I just love these ribbon colours together. Mm. I think they're, like you said, cappuccino. I like the way you said it. Now, a kit is always a great idea for anybody who's just thinking about um, buying from us here at Jewelry Maker. Maybe you've just started on the path to jewellery making. Maybe you're wondering uh, what it's all about. You know what? With your first ever purchase we will give you won't leave you short because I know there's terminology that you might we might be just talking mm -hmm. um, about things and think you're thinking I don't know what a jump ring is what is a toggle clasp you know it is sometimes a foreign language when you start a new hobby and I think that about most hobbies actually um, well we're going to give you a get started DVD this will familiarize you with what you're doing it will also give you the basic techniques of jewelry making so you're ready to make straight away here's a little example of that how to make a gemstone circle for instance instance you know we never leave you short uh, really nice clear instructions very very friendly done here in the studio at Jewelry Maker so um, hopefully you're all familiar with us all already and I think that helps doesn't it now you'll also be getting a step-by-step -step book um, which is which is fantastic because you've got everything to refer to and I open it straight away and um, just uh, giving you advice about the wonderful silver art clay which really is amazing we'll be talking about that a little bit more later you'll also get our tutorials and workshops information and every month through your door for free we're gonna give you a hobbyist magazine in your JM Hub magazine uh, now we are so inspired by Natalia and it's wonderful when you get some um, jewellery making and you think right okay I'm really proud of that piece we offer you the opportunity to display it on our wall of fame now let's go to that very wall of fame and check out your gorgeous designs <coughs> Wow, it's so inspiring to see all of your wonderful pieces. And Natalia and, and I are like, yeah, and I love that you, well, somebody's put it on a cuddly toy there. <laughs> now I've got number 35, red. We hardly have red gemstones well, here. Really Isn't like this chili wonderful? Peppers, they? Those are the, yes, they're fantastic. That. What are these in between? You have a look, they're gorgeous. Mm -hmm. And this is from uh, Lala, who says, Dear JM, Wall of Fame this please. Pick to Jasper, coral and chili corals. Hope it gets you like it gets me. Still ecstatic over CD bead bundle. It will take me to other places. I'll have to shift me shanks. <laughs> uh, la la. What does that mean? I is that know, a regional she, thing? It sounds fun anyway. She does that. sound fun. I like the sound of you, la la. Well done. Go for a with Thank you. you. <laughs> Hang on, there's another note on the back. Let me see, just make sure. Oh, it's one. the same one. Yeah. Thank you so much. Is it right? It was so upside down, so you rewrote it. Oh, well done! It's gorgeous. Now, 
Jenny, this is uh, number 36, and this reminds me of my origins and. Um, your, where are your origins? Uh, my family come from Mexico. Oh yes, they do, and don't they? Mexican silver and turquoise. I was brought up around it, and uh, you know, I, I see this and I think, oh, is it very Mexican? Mexico. And uh, can you and speak from, a bit of Spanish? I can. Si? I can. Sí. Sí. Um, hablo español. Como te llamas? No porque vivo en Inglaterra. <laughs> uh, you were born in Mexico, but now you live in England. Is that what you said? Uh, no, I said I speak Spanish, but I don't speak it much because I live in England. Oh. Anyway, enough of me talking nonsense. I like that. That was uh, <laughs> muy bien. Muy bien, sí. Yeah. sí Habla sí. tan cambia español. Uh, a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> yeah, I understand it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so this is from Mary. So you've got us all going now, Mary. Mary Stewart, and she says hi all at JM. Mary JM. Stewart. That's a very regal name. It's very regal. Is it Mary Queen of Scots? Or yes, something? Mary Stewart. And um, she's from Ayrshire. And she's been a customer for two years, and this is my first photo for the Wall of Fame. Turquoise stones from JM and wire from my stash, and it is absolutely beautiful. I love Mary, the organicness of, of it, and I can just imagine you on a summer's day wearing something like that and looking really hot, Mary. I love the name Mary. It's my mum's name. Is it? Yeah. It's gorgeous. Yeah. yeah. It's it's lovely, isn't it? Oh. That, look at what I've got, what a lovely little Cute photograph, thing. but isn't it lovely, yeah. really nicely done. Number 37 is a power shell necklace, uh, stretchy bracelet and earring set, all from JM, love the colours of the abalone. Keep up all of the beautiful gemstones, and that's from Alana Hawthorne in Inverness. Thank you so much, isn't it cute, it's gorgeous. Kim loves that, Alana, she's like, oh, that is gorgeous. Well, the, Thank the you so Scottish much. The Scottish jewellery makers are sweeping the board today. So this is 38, now look at this cute. I love it, this, this has made is me a, laugh earlier. Is that a tigger or is it a With, is rabbit? It, oh, it's a tiger. Is it, oh, it's, it's a, a tiger. tiger. <laughs> and, it's, <laughs> and it's tiger's eyes. Nice, of course I it like should what be. you did there, Jill. This is from Jill with a big heart, a smiley face and a kiss. Not just one, all of them. All, why not? And she says, tiger's eye rounds, chips, putty octagons, faceted slabs, carved flowers, ovals, tubes, rondelles, pendant and smoky quartz chips all on a tiger. Oh. It's, it's everything in one photograph. They're isn't gorgeous. It? Yes, they are. Fantastic. That's so cute. Thank you for sending that in. You are number 38. I've got, is this Kumanihimani? Kumanihimo? Yes, Kumanihimo. Number 39. Hmm. What's the other one? Debbie Bulford's trying to confuse me because there's a new one that sounds like Kumanihimo, but it's not. Makuma Magane. Makuma Magane. Yeah, that. You're saying like Makuna. I'm saying, yes, Makuna yeah, Matate, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, all these, they do it on purpose. You I think Debbie Balford do. does this. Let's let's do a, a, a word that Jenny can't pronounce for our own amusement. They should call it. the conversation because it sounds really good. It's like, oh. Yeah, I can a and a man. I don't know what you're saying, Debbie Balford. <laughs> Um, Jenny from Watford, it's a good name. Uh, hi JM, this is my Kumihimo beady bracelet that I made for my sister as a moving in present. I've used cord, amethyst, ruby zosa and garnet nuggets from JM and the findings are from my stash. I'm on holiday in Egypt at the moment, how dare you? <laughs> but I am still browsing. You're in Egypt and you're still browsing? Get out there and see Egypt, you. Get out there and see Egypt. But actually, no, stay with us. Uh, being able to shop online is brilliant. I've recently introduced my sister-in-law to the show, who has been cursing me, as she's on maternity leave and now is a fully-fledged JM addict spending, addict spending money. While I'm away, she's adding everything I want to her orders. What a true gem. Thanks, Mal. Gives me something to look forward to when I get home. At least there will be some beautiful strands waiting for me. Well, goodness me. Well done, sister-in-law. Enjoying the baby, I hope. And uh, maybe making some um, gemstone-encrusted dummy holders. That would be cute, wouldn't it? Um, that's yeah, interesting. Dummy that's a, for a very luxurious baby. That would be it? cute, yeah. Yes. yeah. Mm. Have a look at these gorgeous strands I got for you. Look at the rough it's cut. Kanye Sixth West three. and um, Kim Kardashian. Kim Kardashian, baby, yeah. yeah. I love it. Have a look at these. Oh, they're lovely. Oh, they, I they're love rough so cut gemstones. They're summery though, aren't they? Mm. The show last week, <laughs> that lovely weather hey, we had. Hey, it's coming back at the weekend. Is it? Okay. Oh, well, I'm demanding it does because my son's it, birthday party on Saturday. It's it all can come outside. back. It's very welcome. Everyone could please do a sun dance for me. I'd love that. We will be right back after the break with this gorgeous bundle.
There are two easy ways to purchase from Jewelry Maker. You can watch our show on Sky, Virgin, Freeview or Freesat and call our free phone number where you'll be put through to our friendly help team who can place your order. Alternatively, you can go to our website and click the sign up button. Once you have filled in the required details, you can start shopping. You can watch the show by clicking the on air now button on the front page. You can also use our quick search tool and narrow down your results. Once you have found an item that you like, you simply click on the buy now button and the item will be added to your basket. Don't forget that you can add as many items to your basket per day for only one PNP. Enjoy shopping with Jewelry Maker. When you place your first order with us, you will receive a free booklet and DVD full of handy hints, tips and tutorials to help you get started with your new Jewelry Maker hobby. We all know you need the right tools for the job, so here at Jewelry Maker, we have designed a kit to make sure you have all the essentials to join in with the fun. With round nose, flat nose and wire cutter pliers, as well as a reamer, tweezers and a bead scoop, you've got everything you need in one place for just $9.95. We provide the tools, you provide the skills. If for any reason you're not satisfied, you have the benefit of our no quibble 30 day money back guarantee. Just complete the returns form enclosed with your goods and send them back for a full refund. If you have a question or query for Jewelry Maker, then you can contact our call centre on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Or alternatively, you can email help at jewelrymaker.com. Welcome back, my darling jewelry makers. Have a look at what I've got for you. Very exciting. We have got the birth gemstone collection. Is that? It is. Look, a diamond, a peridot. Oh my goodness gracious me! You've got a garnet, an amethyst, an aquamarine, a diamond, an emerald. You have got absolutely beautiful gemstones. Let me see, where's the, where's the emerald? There it is, the emerald's gorgeous. We've also got the garnet collection, which is outstanding. Have you, oh my gosh, have you got every garnet in here? I can see, look how fiery that one is. Look at these, these can be added into your silver clay. Goodness gracious me. You've got a Demantoid garnet in there as well. Mm. This is for you if you're an absolute collector. Love your company this morning. Keep it interactive. We'll love all your comments um, and, and, your, and your text. So thank you so much for that. Now, we're going to do those lovely sunny colours that make me happy. Let's do it. Now, Claire, this might take you back to that Dominican Republic scene. If you could describe that to me right now in my ears so I can tell everybody exactly how Claire spent last week. Paradise, says Claire, and let's picture paradise. White sands, burning hot sun, bluey turquoise sea, bright blue sky, and the sun was shining and warm on your back. And you were so warm that you just needed to refresh yourself with a cocktail or three. And it's that kind of a strand, isn't it? Sunny, it makes you smile when you see colours like this. Just beautiful. Keep those yellows together. Oh, I'm so inspired. Doesn't it make you think of holidays when you see those lovely colours? Or even just a lovely sunny day in the garden where you can eat your dinner al fresco and you can walk around with your flip-flops and the birds are singing and your gorgeous flowers are blooming. Yellow roses, if you're lucky enough to have any of those in your garden at the moment. Do you know what? living in in our new house looked out of my window the other morning and in bloom are all of our yellow roses and they are divine and this 
is such a Yellow Roses kind of collection, isn't it? And then I've got that blush, that iridescence coming from the Mystic Coated Quartz. I think this, the, uh, Citrine, sorry. I think this is a really hot bundle. I think it's beautiful. If you're thinking about tropical faraway lands or if you're thinking about enjoying your garden in the, on a lovely summer's day these are the kinds of colors we want aren't they Mitri mystic citrine mitric i was calling it mitric it's just so special it's something i'm not even used to saying isn't it beautiful let's have a look at the colors from this mystic citrine absolutely the first time I've ever seen it. It's gorgeous, Natalia. As a jewellery maker, actually. Natalia, my darling. Yeah. Um, to use, because I know Linda always goes bananas over anything that's so organic as this strand is. Mm. How do you feel about those organic shapes, the randomness of the strand? Mm. I love them. I, I really love to see things that aren't absolutely perfect. You know, that yes. nature's just produce this stone and that every single strand that goes out there to all our wonderful viewers that no two strands are going to be the same and mm -hmm. that's what I absolutely adore about it and I had some similar gemstones to work with um, for, for the fashion week do you remember when yes. we were doing the um, I think it, we, we, it was for the wedding um, show and I made a, a necklace and what I did was I took a mold of one of the stones and it was all rough and lovely and I made a piece of silver sort of cast the silver into the mold of it mm, I like that and it looked idea. great yeah it really did I just think um, when when we're looking at the, well, the point of jewelry making in the first place is to create something that you can't get on the high street mm -hmm. create something from your mind that looks organic and beautiful and different yes you know it, because if you weren't creating things that are different we'd just go buy it from the shops wouldn't we and as a customer as a customer we seek out those different individual pieces that people are going to say, I love what you're wearing. I love that necklace. And it's a one-off. It's something that can't be repeated. When we wear things like that, it just feels special, doesn't it? I do think you're going to create that style of jewellery with this bundle. Absolutely beautiful. Walking on sunshine. AAGC12 should be individually. £25, just a couple of pennies shy of £25. Get yourself on those phone lines because we're going to give you an amazing saving. You've got the six mil rounds and the random shapes and sizes and that gorgeous citrine. Today, we're going to give you a huge saving by offering you all of these for just £17.95. Pence. That's less than £4.50 a strand. There is no way you'd see citrine at that price anywhere else, is there? Now you've got the, the scope to design outside of the box. Those single gemstone rings, you might want to prong set them. Those gorgeous individual pendants, you might want to wire wrap them. £17.95 is such an incredible price tag. AAGC12 is your item code. The yellow opal, the citrine, everything very, very special about this bundle. Gorgeous. Check out those baskets if you are shopping with us online. Now, findings is what I'm going to give to you now. And you've got the rose gold. And you've got the silver. Little flower bead caps. It's elements such as these that add that extra wow factor to your jewellery. If you're thinking about getting the strand that we challenged Natalia with, I'm definitely, definitely thinking that these would look stunning with the coated tiger's eye. They're just very luxurious. And I love using rose gold findings. They look rich and expensive. I, the same can absolutely be said about silver, can't it? And I think when you've got these precious metal elements, you, you give your jewelry that edge. You give your jewelry that expensive look. And when you can tell your clients and customers that the jewelry they're buying has genuine solid sterling silver and and rose gold i think it's an impressive thing to to tell your clients and i think when you buy anything as a customer and you know it's got those elements you can you, you've got an idea that whatever you're buying 
has a fabulous quality to it. And I think it's nice to set yourself apart from other jewelry makers that perhaps don't use genuine gemstones and don't in fact use real gold or real silver. Get yourself on the phone lines for these. The addition, Natalia, of real gold and real silver. Is it something that's important to you if you're working with those gems of distinction strands? It is, yes. I, I would like to make sure that I'm using like with like. So if you're, if you're going to use gems of distinction, it just makes sense to accompany them with sterling silver. It's, it's kind of the same with um, using the precious metals as well. So if I'm making something with silver clay, I always try to include sterling silver findings with the silver clay pieces. It just makes utter sense, doesn't it, to do that? Yes. You've got 20 of each. These are going to go such a long way. Absolutely pretty as a picture these are get yourself involved one of two ways in which you can do that and of course as always you've got 30 day no questions asked money back guarantee 0800 6 triple four six double five if you're shopping online it's jewelrymaker.com we're going to give you a reason to pick up the phone this morning if you bought just the silver ones they're eight pounds and 95 pence you've also got the sterling silver with a rose gold overlay 12 pounds and 95 pence so you're paying four pounds for the uh, rose gold findings it's an amazing deal isn't it 12 pounds and 95 pence and i think these are elements that we're always going to use within our jewelry making they're never going to be just in your drawer never used findings we always grab don't we and include in our jewelry whether you're going to put these in earrings whether you're going to put them in bracelets i just think they're a wonderful addition to your jewelry that you're creating i think you can put these in earrings with a jump ring if you want to really show them off you don't have to put them in between gemstones as rondelles and i quite like that idea maybe with some fine wire some 0.25 wire you could put these into tiaras as well twist them in i think that'd look cute 12.95 is your price tag now, I'm going to pop these back in. Oh, I'm going to mix them up. Let me give to you an opportunity to have a look at our deluxe gem collector box. Oh, you want to see the tubes? Oh, have a look. We have got the most amazing collection of our new style of bead scoops. These have been individually selected and uh, Hannah Oxbury gave me a good old talking to about these and it's so interesting. I want, to, I, I want to share that with you in just a sec. Before that time though, I'm going to give you another treat with your jewel enamel. Now, um, jewel enamel is absolutely fantastic. Uh, Kim told me she put this together specifically for me. Did you? Thank you. Let me see. Because they're all fabulous bright colours. You've got the Peridot. Love my greens. Have a look at these. They are... This is the Peacock collection. I love this. I love it. Have we got any examples of enamel jewellery that um, we can have a look at? I want you to know what you can create with enamel because uh, just like silver clay, enamel is a whole different medium, a whole new world it, within your jewellery making and it also um, it, it can carry over to your card making if you're into your paper craft. It's wonderful for creating your key rings and your charms. Absolutely fantastic for those individual pendants. Now the great thing about jewel enamel is if you use a mold and you make that mold yourself or use one of our molds, you can repeat the design over and over again. It always comes out fantastically. Uh, jewel enamel is going to give you that lovely solid color with a sparkle jewel enamel is also going to let you create outside of the box you can use this and and kind of you can um, make your own if you drip it over a heat mat and let it let it um, set you can make the most amazingly artistic patterns you can see there with the the wax um, is it it's called gilding wax isn't it is it gilding wax 
it, the stuff that I love the smell of and you just rub it all over and it, it picks up those edges um, you need to use heat proof molds so anything that's great for baking is generally you know the um, silicon molds if they're good enough that they withstand a, the, the temperature of an oven then they'll be fine for using um, with your jewel enamel now we do do lots of wonderful wonderful uh, stencils they're not stencils molds I just said the word molds on our website check them out it's uh, jewelrymaker.com the peacock collection includes the citrine color the deep gold color the blue sapphire color the peridot and the appetite Natalia is jewel enamel something you've ever worked with Yes, and um, I have the melt pot, and yeah. I don't get enough time to experiment with it, but it is really wonderful because um, you can pour it into um, metal bezel frames, so you can make your own with the bronze, copper, and silver clays. Yes! You can use polymer clay to make yourself a little setting as well. So you can combine it with so many materials, you know, like anodized aluminium as well. Um, so many of the different um, craft mediums that we've got on this channel that the jewel enamel is a wonderful accompaniment to and also on its own I've seen it used with wire I've seen it um, you know people making things that appear like dichroate glass yeah. the, the, the um, possibilities are endless for it I just think with jewel enamel you've got such lovely colors I love the way they merge into each other and you've just made to me the most incredible point make your own settings pour the jewel enamel directly inside it and you've got yourself a wonderful piece of jewelry you can do that with your polymer clay or with your precious metal clays this is a fantastic opportunity for you to get now you need the melting pot which we do do on our website how much is it do you know if you haven't got that do pick that up now we also do um, a DVD it's just four pounds and 95 pence for you if you want those tutorials uh, the DVD is there to help you we've also got downloads on the website which is jewelrymaker.com the peacock collection get yourself on the phone lines for this one now 800 644 655 on the w's.com should be four pounds per pot one two three four five 20 pounds you should be paying there for but today we're going to give you a little sneaky deal by buying these in bulk you're making an incredible saving of 12 oh my gosh that's wonderful you got seven eight pounds off 12 pounds is what you're paying today two pounds 40 pence per pot Kim had to work that out for me. I'm not very mathematical, it's true to be said. You've got a 30 day money back guarantee on absolutely everything that you buy from us here at Jewelry Maker. If you're thinking about trying something new for the first time, this is a wonderful, wonderful technique to learn. We do workshops as well. Now, I'm gonna give you that deluxe tube. I love these. I'm not sure if you've seen these yet, Natalia, or whether you've owned one yet, but they are just glorious. Now, I was lucky enough to launch this scoop just the other day. When we think about romantic colours, it's this tube that you want. Now let me explain the concept of these tubes if you've never seen them before. We give to you strands called Gems of Distinction strands. Gems of Distinction strands are the strands that are superior. The creme de la creme. Hannah Roxbury explained to me that sometimes you get a strand, they're so beautiful, and she said one gemstone one gemstone might be worth on those strands individualizing because of its fabulous beauty. They will take, they're always superior in gems of distinction. But the gemstones that make these bead scoops are deluxe bead scoops, are far and beyond superior. They are no less than excellent color, cut, and beauty. Now if you love the concept of bead scoops, maybe you've bought a bead scoop from us before, then you'll already know that pushing yourself out of your comfort zone, receiving a gemstone that you never would have perhaps received had you not got that bead scoop, makes designs that you would never ever have made previously. That design 
that takes your jewellery making even further makes you more confident as a jewellery maker using beautiful gemstones like this is an absolute treat and to get a whole scoop of them all different cuts I'm seeing briolette cuts always always fabulous in quality clarity and cut a whole tube of them Natalia, have you ever received one of these deluxe bead scoops? They're quite a new concept here at Jewelry Maker. I haven't, but the first time I was actually up close to one was in my workshop last Friday, and I had, I was running a silver clay rings making workshop, and one of the ladies on the workshop, and uh, Roberta, lovely Roberta, she had one with her, and we picked out a gemstone that can be set into silver clay that can be fired, which was a piece of peridot. And she set it um, in like a little flower and put that on top of her ring. How and, beautiful. Um, it just looked incredible. It was really good. It's these kinds of strands. Now have a look. I've got garnet in here, the most incredible cut, the most beautiful quality. I have a piece of peridot here. I have got so many wonderful gemstones within this scoop. It's a really great idea to get, get scoops because Sometimes you want a whole mix of very special gemstones and that's exactly what you're gonna get. I've got aquamarine in here. I have got some of the most breathtaking strand, uh, gemstones. And you know what? I've got kunzite and I've got morganite. Just stunning, absolutely beautiful. You need to be on the phone lines for these. The scoop that you're seeing here on the picture is actually a, a different scoop to the one I've got. Everyone is going to be individual, obviously. I have the most romantic colours. Have a look at these. Absolutely beautiful. The Clarity Collection, £17.95. We don't have loads of these. We launched them last week and most of the stock's already been allocated. I love how these are packaged. I love that you have got yourself a beautiful gift, actually. That would be really nice to, to wrap up for somebody. If you want to colour graduate, you can do that. Absolutely beautiful. Now I'm going to give you the Moonstone Collection. Moonstone and Smoky, come on, this is gorgeous. Natalia, you're going to have this as your challenge. You know, I do remember Kim saying that I could have one of those as my challenge. How great. I'm excited you know, now. I'm going to remove the label. This is stunning. Is it brand new, Kimmy? Only been to air once before. I'm just undo it. Oh, now I can't, I can't get the, this packaged so tightly. Amelia, can you open this one? Here you go, you have a look. Oh my gosh, they're beautiful. Moonstone as well, the birth gemstone of June. And you've got smoky quartz. This is deluxe. What a gorgeous, gorgeous scoop you've got here. Anyone that has been lucky enough to enjoy a bead scoop, these are a couple of steps up from your regular bead scoop. Regular bead scoops are wonderful. These just break the mold. Absolutely stunningly, stunningly beautiful. Look at all of these. Oh, you've got a wonderful peach moonstone. Look at the quality. It just is stri striking. I'm just going to pick some of these up. Absolutely striking quality. From the Gems of Distinction collection, I bring you the Moonstone and Smoky Quartz collection. Absolutely fantastic. The but deluxe gem selection. Natalia, any early thoughts from you? Um, I probably want to set them on wire, actually. Just my initial thoughts. Put some on wire. Yeah. You've got mainly ovals here. Okay. I think they're so beautiful together. Have a look at the subtle colours. Aren't they pretty? 
the Gems of Distinction Collection, WUGK42, an unbelievable price tag for you. You need to be on the phone lines, limited stock. Nine pounds and 95 pence. This price tag is ridiculously low. How many strands do you reckon you've got in one tube? Loads, absolutely loads, I reckon. This is an incredible opportunity for you now. It's so lovely to have you on board this morning. Thank you so much for your company. Congratulations to everybody that's already confirmed their order. Limited stock, we've now gone um, into purple limited stock. So you need to make sure now you are on the phone lines if you're thinking about grabbing this gorgeous scoop. And what a lovely, lovely thing for us to give you these brand new scoops. I love when we see something new. It's so exciting, isn't it? And I just can't wait to get it in my collection. So I'm going to give these to the gorgeous Natalia. She's going to have those. Gosh, they're packed in as well. You get loads. Can't get them all back in. Woo! You get stacks. Got to shake it a little bit to get it down, says Tom. They are absolutely jam-packed full of gemstones. That's a good thing. That is a good thing. I want to know that I've got value for money in these bead scoops. Now I'm going to give you one more tube. I'm going to, I can't even get the lid on it, that's how many are in there. I'm going to put these, shall I give these directly to Natalia? Put them there. I'm going to give that to you because it's open and I know how clumsy I am and they're going to go poof everywhere. Oh, now I'm last tube them. for you, see what I mean? Last tube for you, look at these romantic colours, just beautiful. This is amethyst and rose quartz that I'm giving you now. Have a look at these. They're just beautiful. Amethyst and rose quartz. All different shapes, all different sizes, all fabulous clarity. Carrot weight's always going to be the same, but you're going to get the randomness in the shape and sizes. Look at these clear quartz, rose quartz, amethyst. I've got iolite in here as well. How stunning this is. N M I M 85 is your item code. If you want to make delicate and pretty jewelry, this is your scoop. If you want to make subtle and romantic jewelry, this is your scoop. If you want to do something that perhaps you wouldn't do had you not have this scoop, then get yourselves on the phone lines. For anybody that's enjoyed bead scoops and maybe seen gemstones for the first time, use them and fall in love with them, you'll know what a huge benefit it is to work with brand new stones that perhaps you've never tried out before. On the phone lines, because this is very, very, very limited edition, probably the last time you're ever going to see this bead scoop, and we're going to give you such an incredible price tag, far too low at 6.95, it is our lowest price, deluxe bead scoop always the carrot weight is the same always those colors romantic soft pretty if you're creating bridal pieces there's a two minute wait on those cues in the phone lines please bear with them it is so worth it stay exactly where you are but you do need to check out baskets if you're shopping with sunline today i don't want anyone missing out on this one congratulations to all those very very regular buyers it's wonderful to have you on board and to anyone that's brand new to jewelry maker a huge welcome Welcome to you. You will get a host of free goodies with your very first order. What a fantastic way to get started with us here at Jewelry Maker. Well done to you. Wow. Let's continue on. Oh, I love that. 17, 18, 19, 20. Wow, wow, oh, I love this. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> um, this is such a cool tool. I don't know if you've got this jump ring opener. I haven't. No. Have you seen it? I've seen it. Well, you just have it in your so hand cool. and it opens the you, jump it's ring. It's a ring. Yeah. yeah. I, I mean, this is just for this is for the jewellery maker who has to have everything. everything. This is for you if you are a bead brat. <laughs> Absolutely love this. So you pop it on the finger, just like so. You can actually use this as a ring shank as well. Yeah. I'm going to just get out a jump ring. I get out a green one. This isn't now. You've got green jump rings, red jump. Rings. These are great for scale mail, aren't they? Have I got? Could you somebody pass me some um, 
some kind of flat nosed or round nosed pliers. Not scissors, but thank you, Amelia. Amelia just uh, put scissors in my face. I'm like, thanks. Thank you, darling. Thank you, darling. Now, to show you how these work, these are open jump rings I'm giving you. Let me just, I, the irony of it is I'm going to have to open them to put them on it for a minute. Gosh, do you know what? These are very thick, these coloured um, jump rings, aren't they? Really strong. Right. So you put your jump ring in the, uh, in the little groove. Hang on a minute. Put the jump ring in the groove and you can actually stack these up. This is going to make your life so much easier if you're doing chain mail. And literally you just use that as your lever. Easier on my index finger. What is my index finger? This one. The one I point with, this one. What do you mean open it against my finger when it's on there? <laughs> well, so have I been doing it wrong this whole time? No, that's how I do it. You want me to what now? <laughs> no, that's how you do it. That's what the diagram says. That's how you do it. Can, what weird way, what weird foresty way do you do it? Come here and show me. Sorry, I'm totally transfixed by this tool and I haven't even told you that you've got 300 jump rings. 310? Where did the extra 10 come from? you got sterling silver in there as well. you got the pink, you got the red, and you got the green, and they're solid sterling silver. 100 in each of the colours, and they're aluminium, that's why they, was, they were uber strong. And then you've got... Then you've got the 10 of the sterling silver. Got a hundred of each. Are they all the same size? I'm just going to check out for you. Five mils in the uh, sterling silver. They're all split rings. And you've got 6.5 in the. Oh, I'm going to give you the outer dimensions. Of course, that's right. Uh, you have got in the pink 4.1 in the inner dimensions and 6.5 in the outer. In the red, you've got five mil in the outer. You've got 7.4 on the, uh, sorry, 5 mil on the inner, 7.4 on the outer. Uh, inner dimension 4.1 on the green and 6.5 on uh, the outer. Individually, over 14 pounds today. 9 pounds and 95 pence. I'm still working with this tool, Kim. I reckon this is fantastic. So one side is wider than the other, do you know? Yeah. These, because the jump ring, yeah, there you go. That side is skinnier than that side. So if you've got really, really fine jump rings, no, that's how you do it. And you just close them like that or open them. She's saying put it on the inside of my finger like that. Well, you know, these are almost sold out. There's only 20 of these left. No, look, that's how I was doing it right. The finger on the picture is like how I have mine. Kim's crying. What are you crying for, Kim? Because I'm. <laughs> <laughs> Am I driving you nuts? I'm driving her so nuts she's crying. Is that what it is? I'm sorry. I love you too. Now, now Natalia, talk to me, darling. Can we see some examples of jewellery that has been swelligantized, please, Tom? Thank you. Now I've got the patina, the gold green verdigris, and that's when you give your jewellery a green kind of effect that makes it look vintage. Is that right, Natalia? If you think of the Statue of Liberty. Yes! That is verdigris at its finest. Or imagine wrought iron in your garden and then it goes really green. And so this is Christy Friesen, who is just a genius, the American lady who invented this product. Um, she's come up with a way of, uh, of transforming materials to give them a verdigris effect. So you can see on the screen behind you you have this uh, amazing transformation. 
Look at this. And this is actually the center is in fact jewel enamel. Yeah. That face. I mean, this is just amazing to, to have that verdigris effect. And it really, and is this with your your um, clays, your metal clays here, Natalia? That looks I very Natalia, that I think that that is probably um, aluminium or it's polymer clay. It must be polymer then because yeah. Debbie did it. Now, this is a, an American product it that is, was yes. brought over and was exclusive to us here at Jewelry Maker when it was brought over. Debbie Bolford sourced it, I believe, and is an absolute, she, well, she loves it. She's, she's absolutely behind it. Now, that's polymer clay. It looks yeah, see, like precious clay. solid metal, doesn't it? It does. And it, it has it, you know, you can, you can use it on metal as well. You can um, use it on wood, on metal, yeah. on plastic, literally any material, like can't you? Yeah. Can you use it on gemstones? Or not? I don't know. I want to you know use I it. I would imagine that you could. I, would I mean, it's incredible. Yeah. Incredible, really Natalia. Fantastic. Product. You use this a lot, do you, Natalia? I don't use it a lot, no, but I have grand, grand plans for it because um, one of the things that I love is to, to be able to create effects on copper and bronze clay. Um, and it works particularly well on those. So, what you could do is you could create a piece in copper clay and highlight parts of the piece and give it a verdigris effect. Or, you know, you've got the different colours, so you can really bring out. Um, the, the copper and give it an aged effect as well. Mm. So there are different colours. There's a red one, there's a coffee coloured one, there's the, the patina, you know, the aged look. Patina, yeah. I, li I like that. This is the patina here. So you've got the patina in the gold green verdigris and you've got the dioxide black and the dioxide indigo. So the dioxide gives it the black. You know how you get a uh, you get grooves in pieces. And you, if you think about real sort of um, gothic pieces, they've got the, the, the sort of black edging to them, haven't they? Mm -hmm. The silvery, the pewter, all those black edges. Is, is that kind of look that you're gonna get with the black? Yes, yeah. So it, it looks as though it's, um, it's a very old piece, like it's been dug up out of the ground, which gives yeah. it that vintage look. I, it gives it that, so that kind of Anglo-Saxon, early settlers kind of jewelry. I love, do you know, my, I know this is, sounds really weird, but my son is obsessed with the Anglo-Saxons. He's a very strange boy. Uh, just, just to look at these elements and think that we can use them in our jewellery, but not just that, because it will work on card, it will work on wood, it will work on so many mediums that you might already be crafty with at the moment. Remember, uh, we bought this over from the USA. We're the first company to bring it to you in the UK. And uh, do you know what? Just so excited to be bringing you Swellegan, to be bringing you a, a brand new concept to your crafts, to your jewellery making. And I think Debbie Bolford um, Swellegantized a, um, a key and it looked absolutely wonderful. Think about in your interior decorating how you can make out of polymer clay or any kind of thing like that. You can make your home decorations uh, and you can you can make that shabby chic look. Think about as well as talking to Debbie Bulford about making polymer clay doorknobs and uh, draw knobs and putting swellagant on them. I mean it's just incredible and actually I went to a little boutique shop the other day. There's a lot of shabby chic kind of boutiques out there now aren't there? And doorknobs, how expensive are they just because they look shabby chic? You'll pick, not doorknobs, sorry, Mia needed chest of drawers uh, knobs, and they were like a tenner oh, each. Yeah. I needed eight of them and I was like, I'm not spending 80 pounds on draw knobs today when there are shoes to buy. Um, just incredible that I can make my own and, and I love that, the, the sense of self-achievement. Do think about the fact that Swellegan isn't just for your jewelry making, it's for other crafts that you might be uh, into. It's for home decorations. It's just the most incredible solution for that expensive shabby chic look. That's what it's all about. Steampunk, can we incorporate this in with our steampunk? You can absolutely, because you could create on your findings using the, the darker colored ones and antique looks or existing findings that you have already, um, make them look bronze. I love this. So think about fusioning techniques, think about the steampunk look, think about the vintage look. 
Think about the shabby chic look. You can achieve it with Swellegant. Get ready to try us out. You should be paying 19 pounds, 95 pence for this trio. But today we're going to give it to you for just 10 pounds and 95 pence. Now do not panic because you might be thinking, I don't even know how to do Swellegant. Just on your bottle. There is information about a free tutorial. You go online to christyresin.com. Christy Reason? Freezen. Freezen. Oh yeah, there's an F there, sorry. <laughs> uh, .com and you can go and download the free Swellegan tutorial. So don't panic, it's all there. Get yourself online for these, they're flying out the door. If you're experiencing engaged tones on the phone lines, please hang up and re-dial. Wonderful, wonderful to have your company here this morning on this not so bright and sunny day, but that's when we want to come in and we want to sit down and we want to think about all that gorgeous jewelry that we're going to create. Right now, it's time to give you something else gorgeous. Now, Kim's mum helped to put this gorgeous. Your mum has got a good eye for colour then, Kim, because these are beautiful. Very darling buds of May. Really classic colours here. You've got the purple of the pansies. You've got that rose pink and that fabulous British sky blue aren't these beautiful multicolored aquamarine is just stunning isn't it it's just stunning you've got all these wonderful tones i love this strand so natural to work with aquamarine at any point is a joy and to tell your clients and customers that you have aquamarine is an absolute godsend and natalia selling your jewellery on and you mention names like aquamarine and ruby and emerald people tend to respect your jewellery more would you agree with that they do yeah they tend to respect it and you know and also but just looking at the strands you know the beauty of the gemstone speaks for themselves as well as the name helping to sell it absolutely stunning and then you've got amethyst bicones we haven't had many bicones at all, have we? Now, I've also got for you rose quartz. I've got a piece of jewelry made up, which I'm going to show you in just a sec. I just want you to have a look at the gemstones that we're talking about. Very classic, very elegant. The amethyst, I do as well. That amethyst, can we buy that outside of this pack? Don't think you can. Do you know what a stunningly natural looking strand this is? I love it. I think this is beautiful. This is Zambian aquamarine that I'm giving you here. What a treat! Zambian amethyst as well. Come on, this is absolute luxury. Have a look at the jewellery that the gorgeous Sue J made for us, one of our beading buddies upstairs. Now a very vintage feel to the design. Very Downton Darlings, isn't that gorgeous? Incorporating all of the gemstones into one piece of fabulous jewellery. I love these. I'd use them individually or together. And isn't that nice that you can do both? I think this is fantastic. Absolutely beautiful. Are you ready to get yourself involved with this fantastic trio? A blend of classic colours. A blend of beautiful colours. The Feminine Chic Collection should be coming to you at only £19. That's, that's a good price, Kim. I wouldn't have fiddled with it. But fiddle she did, and we're going to give it to you for just £14.95. Congratulations if you're on the phone ready for these already. I can't wait to see your Wall of Fame entries. And it's lovely to have bicones, isn't it? They slot together nicely. They twinkle, they sparkle, they make fabulous beady beads. What a gorgeous trio. Lots of you there for this one. A big percentage of the stock has now been allocated, approaching half of the entire stock now has gone for this trio. So make sure you are checking out baskets. Lots of you online buying. I just want to show you if you put them all together like this. Of course, you've got a birth gemstone in both the amethyst and the aquamarine, February and March. And rose quartz is always popular, isn't it? 
I have got now the most incredible kit. I tell you what, you have got so many elements to this gorgeous kit. So much memory wire. Normally we give you either or with the memory wire, but we're not. We're gonna put it all in for you. We've got a memory wire DVD in the pipeline. I have got the ring memory wire. Oh my goodness. When was the last time we saw ring memory wire? I tried to get this ages ago and couldn't get it. 14 coils of ring memory wire. You've got the bracelet memory wire here as well, 14 coils. And you've also got the necklace memory wire, 14 coils. I bet Natalia, I bet you went mad when you saw this kit for the I first did. time. I did, I loved it. I love it. Now, you've also got four gorgeous strands. You, oh my gosh, look at that lapis lazuli. <gasps> oh my gosh, let's, do you know what? I'm gonna show you these individually. Beautiful strands in this kit. Now, you know, if you, if you, know, if you tune in when I'm ever um, presenting, you know that when Lapis Lazuli comes out, the excitement is, is, can be seen from far and wide. Lapis Lazuli is one of the most beautiful gemstones to own and work with. It's stunningly striking. When you look at it, you're mesmerized by the fact that you've got all these wonderful pyrite inclusions that bring this midnight blue gemstone to life. You can picture can't you that wonderful clear evening sky and the twinkling stars of the pyrite what a richness of color we're getting here what an incredible quality we're getting here if you are an admirer of the likes of Paloma Picasso Jean Schlumberger or Elsa Peretti you'll know that these incredible designers include this wonderful gemstone in their collections and if you're a fan of one of the most famous jewelry designers it, jewelers in the world then you'll already be familiar with the likes of those designers for they design collections for that jewelers i've also got for you one of the most breathtaking blues ever together these are gorgeous blue mystic coated chalcedony sparklingly gorgeous absolutely stunning i don't want to mention the snow but you know when it snows and you look up to the sky when all the clouds have gone and you've got that bright blue crisp cold sky this color this color and the glistening of the snow absolutely stunning breathtaking have a look clear quartz what a perfect complement to both of these strands nestle them in between any one of these gemstones and they're going to look glorious and then I've got corner drilled shell. Absolutely stunning. Four wonderful strands, three lots of memory wire in your ring, bracelet and necklace. This is an incredible kit and I'm still not done. We are very element rich in this kit. Have a look. I've got the new colour ribbons for you again. I've got that wonderful lime green. Look at this. Fabulous. I've got the red and I have got... That's very French, isn't it? And I have got the blue. I love it. I think this is fabulous. You've also got your findings, your new findings in silver. 96 of the... 98 of the beauties is what you've got. Absolutely fabulous. You've got your ribbon cord ends, your crimp beads, your crimp bead covers, your eye pins and your head pins, absolutely everything that you need to get creating is within this kit. I have also got for you 
so much i've got for you the stainless steel beading wire i have got the elastic i've got the monofilament all you need if you are brand new to jewelry making to get yourself going is your small tool kits which i'll give to you in just a tickle goodness gracious me all of this absolutely bonkers and bananas beautiful strands fabulous ribbon and the extra bonus of all of this memory wire you should be paying over 40 pounds for this well i i would pay that and, and quite be very happy about that kim I know that this chalcedony strand is, is over £12. Well, in fact, it's £13. A couple of pennies shy of £13 on its own. What are you taking it to, you little banana? £22.95. A very cheeky deal. A very, very cheeky deal indeed. I think that you, well, you're making an incredible saving. You've got all those findings. If you're just starting up a business, £22.95, yes please. I think the gorgeous pearls that I've got coming up for you later will go nicely. These pearls are divine, aren't they? Absolutely divine. You need to get on the phone lines for these. I'm gonna get over to that gorgeous lady and have a look at what I can steal because I know that Natalia will have made jewelry that I want from this kit. But before I do that, we have so many new buyers on the phone lines. A Big welcome to you. Welcome to the jewellery making family. I've got a small toolkit for you, my little darlings. Now you need a toolkit to be able to do anything beyond a stretchy. So if you want to squidge down your crimp beads, if you want to snip your ribbon, if you want to make a little coil out of your wire, if you want somewhere to store your findings or your beads that are left over after the um, after you've created your jewellery, then I've got the toolkit for you to do it now. If you're brand new to jewellery making and you buy a kit for your first purchase, I need to let you know something. If you make up the jewellery and you decide jewellery making is not for you, send the jewellery back to us and we will refund your money for the kit, even though you've used it. Now, that's just on your first purchase kit. You get your flat nose pliers, your round nose pliers, your nippers, your snips, your tweezers, your bead scoop, your bead reamer, and your bead boxes. Get to yourself on the phone lines. We're going to give you an incredible price tag for nine pounds and ninety-five pence. You are getting an Uber deal. Maybe you're starting up your first business this evening. I can't wait to get over to that gorgeous girl. Remember the kit that we're talking about right now. I'm going to just quickly show you the blue coated quartz that we did that looked like tanzanite. People are asking for them, and I think it would look incredible with the kit that I'm giving to you right now. Have a look. Oh, it would. Look at that together. Didn't it look like tanzanite? It did, didn't it? Absolutely beautiful. You've got the most amazing pinks coming from this strand. Big, chunky gemstones. The code that you need, CAGK66 for these beauties. And they were a great price too, weren't they? Just £12.95. And they've got the little crimps in between them that separate each gemstone. They're just heavenly. Now let's get back to the kits. So for £22.95, you've got all the elements. You've got the gemstones, you've got the ribbon, you've got the memory wire, you've got your findings. How glorious is this kit? I can't wait to come on over to you. Are you ready for me, my lady? I'm always ready for you, Jenny. Good girl. Come and Many join aren't. Me. Many aren't ready for me, I tell you that. Over I go to that luscious lady. I need to let you know the kit's almost sold out, so please make sure you are confirming orders. Wow! Natalia Coleman, you little genius. Oh. <gasps> What do I steal? Oh, I hate There's it when the choice so is so... many choices, all of isn't, it. The, isn't the colour range just beautiful? Mm. I Look love at this. it. Really love it. So simple, so elegant. You've done Kumagane. Makumi, sorry, Makumi. <laughs> got Makumi. me doing it now. Kumima, Kumima. Kumima. See, what what I do. see what I mean? It's very difficult. It's very difficult, all this terminology. How fabulous, I love the ring. I picked this ring up earlier, didn't I? Yeah, I tried it did. on. I've got the ring flower. that you've made. 
little flower so in the center. You could do so many things with these coils. Yeah, yeah, you can. And I love memory wire. I'm a big fan of memory wire. And I remember starting here and thinking, I don't know what to do with it. And the thing is, if you don't know what to do with it, just experiment. Because Absolutely. That's I love happens. it. I love it when that happens because yeah. you just think, right, Happy that's accidents. when your best things happen. The yeah. lapis lazuli earrings are fab. Yeah. All of these earrings are fab. And I'm struggling, I've got to tell you, to decide which ones I'm going to put in my ear this morning. I think the long uh, lapis on the chain. I think that's very, I think so that's very Jenny. See, I They're didn't know I was doing the show with you, They're but I had you in good, mind Jenny as I was turning my round those pliers and inventing I think just here. in case. Am I the only one that does this? No, no, you're steal? not. But you're, I'm you're the only one who openly steals. You see how great they look. They look really good. Do you love them? I love them. You nearly knocked my designs over, but you make my designs look really Where, good. Where? What did I knock over? You, you nearly knocked this one over. Sorry, darling. <laughs> because so of a disaster then. <laughs> Have a look. Isn't it lovely? Aren't they? Aren't they gorgeous? Need those. Oh, I love it when you make it. Just earrings. using two of those and a bit of chain. Hardly any gems. Tons of chain, and you've got loads left over. Can I draw everybody's attention to your Kumahimo? Kumahimo, yes, we because do that Kumahimo I have Garmini. different coloured ribbon and normally when I've done Kumahimo braids I've just had the one coloured ribbon but it's so oh. nice to um, to do that. And do you know you can create, well obviously I, I think you've had shows where we've done specials with Kumahimo but you can do different patterns in the different ways like you Cutting. line the ribbon. Yeah, 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 you yeah. can do heart shapes and you can do um, rounds, you can do the, that twisty one that I've done. And the twist was really simple, it was just um, two of the yellow and two of the blue so it's an so easy enough thing to do you need very, the dial you need them opposite yeah. each other you can get the kumahimo uh, disc on our website you can get either the square one or the round one yeah you just need lots of patience so you need to sit down have some nice music playing and just sit until you finish until it. it's over so your daughter can she do it oh she loves it yeah but she, she gets see talk about patience she's not a patient person so she gives up halfway through and then hands it over and to me says, and then we've got different tension you see and then we end up with a wonky kumahimo so top tip is don't do a two person kumahimo if you start it don't finish your daughter it, kumahimo i'll make it make them finish it because you just get a different tension have a look at this beautiful necklace. This is why memory wire is brilliant. Well, it's, isn't it? it's so many coils of it, and so it just goes on and on and on forever. And uh, I wanted to, to use it on its own, you know, just to show how you could just inject a couple of gemstones or three gemstones uh, and create something quite interesting looking, really. It's absolutely beautiful. Now, in fact, that's what I'm going to. Are you going to? Demo that's going what to I was going to say. Yeah, have you, have we seen all of the jewellery that Natalia's created? Let's have a good look at all of it. Do memory wire bracelet because they're always good. The, they do use a lot of gemstones, but they look so effective because you have the uh, the quantity of gemstones, and then you end up with that real depth. And um, I just remember always my favourite bracelet. Uh, you know, in, when I was in my twenties, was the memory wire bracelet, and I didn't know at the time. I thought, wow, it's so clever. You know, you can make them yourself now. I'm going to try that on. It, they always look so professional as well. The thing they? is, they fit everybody. That's the thing. They just mould your wrist, oh, don't they? Oh, what a point. Yes, Isn't of that course really they do. Yeah. And they no must no fuss, and so they don't come off as well. That's why I like them. You have little things dangling. Yeah, you can have the little charms. Yeah, you can. You can do whatever you want. Memory wire rocks, doesn't it, Jenny? Memory wire does rock. It does rock. I love it. And we have memory wire in every capacity here in this kit. Go get the kit just for the memory wire. I alone. think so. I think it, it, to, to have all this memory wire is just mad that you get it all for this price tag. It's just such an incredible deal that we're seeing here today. And memory wire, if you've never used it before, we've got loads of shows that you can um, mm. download off YouTube and we've got lots of tutorials online on uh, jewelrymaker.com. Uh, what a wonderful kit for ease of, of, um, of design, actually, Natalia, with yeah. memory wire. Once you know how to use it, if you can see, this is such an elegant piece, but it's so easy to create. It's about that. tension. <laughs> There you yeah, go. so it's not. It's, it looks beautiful. It's not very functional today. There you go. It was me. That's when I knocked it over. But very easy to create, and that's the yeah. point, isn't it? Tension is what you need with the memory wire. I've mm -hmm. noticed because it is stronger it than the other wire. Yeah. I use different cutters to the ones that I've got in my I stack. do because what happens is if you use your normal everyday cutters that you're using just for your beading thread and for for small fine wire you're going to end up with notches cut out of them yeah. and then in the long run that will really hurt your your pliers so um, I'm using 
these today because that's all I have. But at home, I have some dedicated. Yeah, to just that you use for those. Yeah. Okay, so where do we start, my darling heart? So you have all these coils of your necklace memory wire. They look like a slinky. I haven't tried it actually sending like that slinkies. down the stairs. So I don't think there's enough. You'd need it. more, wouldn't yeah, you? Yeah, you would need a few. You need to order. A few don't go cutting your slinky up in order to you or do. No. Or do. Well, actually, yes. That's interesting. Or do. My <laughs> son doesn't play with his slinky anymore. Yeah, and I need some new you jewelry. You have a fantastic <laughs> bracelet with that. Can you, can you imagine okay. the tears? What happened to slinky? Never yeah, mind. They, they suddenly take a big Out interest the stairs. in it, don't <laughs> yeah. they? When they when they can't have it. And so I've just cut one coil off there, just slightly longer than, than the neck. And, and this actually measures, I measured it on the, on the beading board, and it's, um, it's 16 inches. So if you wanted to have a longer one, if you've got a, a, a neck you, you know, that's slightly um, wider than that, then you just cut a little bit more off. And then what I do is I, I'll do one end just to show you, but you wouldn't finish it off until you've absolutely finished your necklace because then you're going to stop yourself being able to attach the other bits that are going to go at the, at the base of it. So just take your round nose pliers at the very um, thickest end and, um, and just turn a loop. And this is where I find you need a little bit more tension than if you're working yeah. with sort of your normal wire. Yeah, that's right. And I found that if you just bend that loop downwards with your flat nose pliers, you get it it's sitting better. Yeah, it sits on better. The on, yeah, and, and nicer at your, in the back of your neck, doesn't yeah. it? And then I'm just going to close that up so that things don't fall off like they did on, on my prototype version next to you. That might have been something to do with me because you know, uh, but I only have to touch something and it falls no, apart. No, no. You see, if it was made well, it wouldn't have happened, would it? But I did um, just kind of put it together quite quickly in the in the it's, studio. It's beautiful. The second version of it. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is do the, the, um, the other loops that are going to go on the bottom. And you can have them however you want, so I'm going to show you what I mean by that. So I'm going to cut off a, a piece of, of the memory wire. You can even hear how strong it is, can't you? When you yeah, you it. can hear that brittle mm. kind of snapping sound. And um, can you see what's happened there? That yeah, when it's coiling I, in. Yes, yeah, so well, when I turn that at the end, it will actually create a better fit for the neckline. So don't worry about that initially. So this is going to be my base layer. And um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, again, so facing forwards with my, my little half moon shape of, uh, of memory wire, I'm going to take my pliers, my round nose pliers, and turn a loop. But I'm turning it away from me. Can you see that? So yeah. I don't want the loop to the side. I want it away from me. And that's, that helps it sit, does it? And it, you're making a spiral on I'm now. making a spiral so that it actually stays on, which I didn't okay, do that's on okay, the other one. And then you can loop it on rather than link you it loop on, it yeah? on, and then I'm just going to bend it again, just kind of take it round so that it's facing away from me. And do the same on the other side. So remember where you did the, at which point in the pliers you used. And then just spiral it round so it's secure. And then what I did, you, you can leave it just in that nice kind of curved shape if you want to. Choice is yours, really. You are the designer of this, this necklace. And, um, or you can, you can pinch it. So you want to get it even, to get it quite even, and just take, take both sides over one another. And then you get this kind of oh, and then it little stays shield a little bit shape, better. you see. And then just feed that on there. That's a good idea. Yeah, just just feeding it on and then it'll stay nicely. And then it's more secure than the yes. one that I did on the bus because mm. I turned the ends over before <laughs> I actually did it. So I was trying to wrestle it and do it onto the piece of existing memory wire. And if it gets, can you see where it's gone a little bit knobbly there? You can just use your finger. Knobbly. And, it, and the one thing about the memory wire is it does go back. It just kind of remembers. Can you see I've sorted that yeah. out now yeah. really easily? So if you do, unlike ordinary wire, if you do kink it you can get it back yeah it's easily. easier yeah so you can you can have that as wide or as or as um, uh, pointy as you like um, and then I just took one of the calcedonate and I put I haven't got one here where have they gone what are you looking for my angel can you see that there was like a little donut shape yeah I love those the uh, flat donuts I can use you more. could probably use a crimpy cover I don't know what I've done with them. I've got some. Wait there. Okay. 
Oh, they did. No, it's like, Amelia's little, cleared them away. But I tell you what, we won't use a donut. We'll use one of the little beads. It's all right, darling. We've sorted it. Don't you worry. But you could use a As thing. You, you could use little donut shapes. They're really cute. I love those. I, I love those new findings. They're great, aren't they? And it's mm. really exciting. Every time I was opening a kiss, I was thinking, oh, I'm going to find next. I like that we keep refreshing things here at Joy It's Maker important. It is important. It? We, and it makes us think. And, and, you know, everybody is a bit frightened to change at first. It's like when they change the layout of Facebook, everyone goes nuts. Yeah. And then after a while, we go, did they change it? Oh, yeah, I remember that. You know, you forget about it and you work work with in different ways don't you that's because they're changing it every day at the moment so what I've done is I've just turned a little loop on there I'm going to attach that to my to my lower piece of the memory wire and then just pop that in place and there you go and you can add as many uh, rows as you want you've got enough memory wire to go crazy you could go do a Rihanna style you know multi layers Ooh, na, na. And you see, just using one or two <laughs> gemstones. Well, was that your Rihanna that impression me, yeah, there? Yes, that wasn't very good, was it? you do a little Rihanna dance? No, I wish. I wish I could. Uh, <laughs> and there you go. You get Rihanna here in the necklace. You get Rihanna next to you presenting. I wow. wish, yeah. I Rihanna wish. inspired. In, yeah, that looks in really spirit. good, doesn't it? The way it's all wonky. <laughs> yeah, I like the way I laid it out better. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. Now, my darling jewellery makers, it's time to look at your gorgeous designs on the Wall of Fame. You can now watch clips from Jewellery Maker on our YouTube channel. Get interactive with Jewellery Maker. I'm so excited. I just made a little whooping sound, didn't I? You did, actually. I love this. Have you used friendly plastic? I haven't, no, but I'm very inspired. And, and at the moment, I just don't have enough time and hands to do everything, all the mediums that we've got coming through, but I love it. Because you introduced string plastic to me, and we don't see enough yes. of that, if, no, if you ask me. Know. I need more. Anything. More. And it's In fact, why different. aren't we doing it now? I don't know. We need to. Let's get a... Let's Kim, get why aren't we doing it now? up in the car park. Bring in shrink Let's plastic. just beat Kim up a little bit. And uh, <laughs> not ever, we're not going to do. No, I would. No, it's just a joke. <laughs> Let's take away Kim's chocolate until she gives <gasps> us. Oh. Well, we're going to do that. I Can need I, more I, shrink plastic. I love Kim. Can I just I say love that her. on screen? I love Kim. I love her. I love her. Listen, there's a lot of love in this studio there today. Is. Kim is one Kim. of my favourite people. Yeah. She's a, she, has she ever. She is the funniest person you will ever meet in your life. She's the only person who goes on a date to the next day, see that date on police inter interceptors. Really? Yeah. Wow. And then think perhaps that date wasn't such a good idea after all. Kim. I love that girl Kim, you're so a much. Legend. She, she gives the best brilliant. hugs as well. She does. Well, she might do. I'm not a hugger. <laughs> I, I don't like hugs. <laughs> don't you? No, I'm, I'm weird. <laughs> I can hug you. Can you? I don't like being drawn in. I'm very huggable. Number 40. <laughs> Do Shall I we get on with that? <laughs> She's there now, like a cat, waiting for I mean, like a pounds. black widow. Yeah, I've got the clothes on for it. Have a look at what we've got here. Now, friendly plastic is the most incredible medium. I am so excited. Why is it called friendly plastic? Because you can touch it, you can manipulate it, and it makes the most incredible jewellery. This is fabulous. I love this. I'm so inspired by you, Jeanette Slater. You are amazing. And Jeanette saying, hi everyone. I'm loving the show as always. I record it every day. Uh, that way, as I work, I don't miss anything. Well, except the bargains. I thought I would send you my entry to the wall of frame. This is my first attempt, everybody, at friendly plastic. That's how easy it is to use. It really is fabulous. Uh, bought from Jewelry Maker and I'm hooked. I've been jewelry making for about a year and need to start selling my, yes, you blooming do Jeanette you better get selling selling my pieces as I cannot wear everything at the same time off now to try my dermal versatip and glue gun I'm so jealous of that yeah I, I didn't get the glue gun I got the uh, I got the uh, what's it called <laughs> yeah. drill yeah have you not Double. got the thing that goes into wood the, yeah, the thing that you that. can burn into wood I didn't get the glue gun you need it yeah I do 
I do need I'm going to get you one. Yeah. Anyway, that looks like modern art, doesn't it? It's yeah, amazing. It Absolutely. Like it's very Vivian Westwood, Nero. number 40. Sorry, I spent so much time on this one that we need to move on now. Very this quickly. is number 41, <gasps> inspired, I think, by Laura the Binding. girlfriend, Laura Binding. She's a wire queen. She's wonderful. I love a, a Laura Binding. Wiley, Wiley good, all goodness. wily ways. Yes. Michelle from Chester sends us this gorgeous piece. And she says, this is a pendant I made from JM Freshwater Pearls and Blue Imperial Jasper Ovals from the Gentle Touch kit I bought last mm. year. The copper wires from my stash. Hope you like it. Michelle, we love, love it. it. I Michelle, think Laura will like it too. And I've got some wonderful wire with the findings. If you didn't get uh, Gemma Crow's finding this DVD, you need it in your life. It's fabulous. Number 42 is from Lena. And uh, she says, hi, jewellery maker. This week's entry to the Wall of Fame is a uh, Rutar Quartz Nuggets Kimimo bracelet. And the findings are made out of 0.8 copper wire. I hope you like it. All materials are from jewellery maker from Lena Patel. My brother's girlfriend is called Lena Patel. Really? That's very strange. Does but she it's not you. I don't think My she does. My mum used to have a lovely friend called Lena who lived in Middlesbrough. Really? I wonder if it's that Lena. Get in touch if you know yeah. Lena. She's the babysit me. Right, this is 43. And look at these. Look at this wonderful pair of poppies. And this is um, this is her first Margaret, entry. Margaret, Margaret oh, these first are amazing. Entry, and what a blinding entry to send in. It was an idea to, sorry, to, I had to try, made from a bundle my partner bought me with the red agate, red coral, black onyx made with wire and mesh wire. All the beads are sewn on with monofilament and put on a brooch oh pin. Oh my gosh, how long you did like that take? It. I've been buying since Love early it. last year, earlier this year, sorry, and been trying different things. Love all the stuff, are always helpful. Mm. That's Margaret Dixon. And Margaret, thank you. And how wonderful for your first attempt. Can you imagine that? Amazing. First thing that you send think in. this time next year. <laughs> Yes, Rodders will be all millionaires. Rodders will be millionaires. That's my favourite one. <laughs> this time next year, Mia. And she's like, yeah, mummy, we've heard that before. <laughs> uh, number 44, look at this glorious set. How stunning. How beautiful this is. And I love the way, Bridget, that you've actually, um, you've displayed this. I think yeah. it looks beautiful. Hi, Jam. This is my wall of fame for this week. I made with red polymer, carnelian and shell. And I just love the polyester chain. Uh, sorry, polyester, not polymer. Uh, I love the polyester as it's great if you don't want too much wire in contact with your skin. So I use this item a lot on extenders and necklaces and it saves on gems that's a waste of hidden hidden under your hair if you can't see them from Bridget in Kent. Well done, Bridget. They're gorgeous. They're photographed as well. That's yeah, what I'm saying. I think now, it, it makes a difference and it makes you want to buy it when it's yes, done like absolutely, that. Absolutely, yes. Make it, sell it. That's what, oh, Bridget, gorgeous, well done. And uh, have a look at what's coming up. Gorgeous. They are Love so, these. Do you know what you I were saying? Them. You were raving mm. about them and I didn't see them up close, but they are sweet as a button, aren't they? They're they are really just really cute. absolutely, could not be any more Jules, Kath, Kids and Bowden no, to me. They no. are just gorgeous. They look so expensive. Good enough to eat as well. Those absolutely. colours are just juicy and beautiful. They, they remind me of picnicking. Yeah. And we're going to do this gorgeous strand for you after this. The Jewelry Maker Wall of Fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jewelry designer. And each week, one lucky entrant will win £100 credited to their Jewelry Maker account, and the runner up receives £50. If you want to enter your design, just send a photo to studio at jewelrymaker.com. Or you can post your photos to Wall of Fame, The Genuine Gemstone Company, Unit 2D, Eagle Road, Moon's Moat, Redditch, B989HF. Come and join in the fun with international art clay instructor Natalia Coleman as she teaches you the basics of making personalised rings from silver clay. During the course of the day, you will learn how to create your own rings, add texture and decoration, finishing and polishing, and how to add colour to your finished piece. The full course includes use of all relevant tools, a buffet-style lunch and refreshments, a tour of the studios, a chance to meet our presenters, and have a chance to visit our Gemstone Museum. All of this for just $99.95. To book your place, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. Jewelry Maker, bringing out the designer in you.
add to your collection with our Silver Art Clay DVD full of handy tips and instructions for all levels. Join guest designer Natalia Coleman in her step-by-step -step guide to make this glamorous inner goddess pendant, featuring a variety of different techniques that will help you develop your skills. To get your hands on a copy, phone our call centre on 0800 644 655. Oh my gosh, I just love these pearls. Have a look. If you row them in a certain way, which I've just done to this side here during the break. Mm. I'm gonna bring these gorgeous pearls to you in just a tickle. I need them, I love these. They're stunning, aren't they? Just stunning. Now, I'm gonna give to you a little bit of a sneaky peek of what's coming up in a bit. And Natalia and I are gonna work with some silver clay, I'm very excited. Now, I bang on about silver clay all the time, I know I do, don't I? It's my favorite thing. I love so many of the different techniques. Silver clay, for me, is my ultimate, my ultimate thing. I love it so much. I definitely want a team silver clay t-shirt. It's my favorite thing. That, yeah, honestly, I, I love it so much and I urge anyone who hasn't tried it to grab it and try it for the first time because look at what you can create. Oh my gosh. This is what makes you a jeweler, Natalia, surely. Have a look at this ring that Natalia's made out of silver clay. How much silver clay have you used, do you think, on that? I used a 10 gram piece of clay. So obviously there isn't 10 grams in there because I cut a circle out of the middle of it. It's like a pebble, and um, that nice could be a bit. pendant. It could be yeah. a ring. It, yes, it, it was intended as a ring, but it can be used as a pendant or a piece of cord or leather. I want it to. I think Natalia's just given it to me as a gift, <laughs> and in an unspoken kind of way. I yes. can feel mm. that you want me to have this ring. Do you know? And what I'm going to do you it? the favour of just saying yes, Natalia. I will. And, and I'm going to do you the favour of saying I'll think about it. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. I've already, I've already borrowed quite a lot of your jewellery already. <laughs> so that's all coming up for you. We've got the bronze clay as well. We have got those both gemstone collections with a gorgeous diamond, with an emerald, with a ruby. Yes, yes, yes. I cannot wait to give these to you. Super duper exciting. Now, you've got to be on the phone right now if you don't want to miss out on these exclusive pearls. Never, ever, ever seen before. Every time, these are the ultimate strand of colored pearls. For me, they're the best strand of colored pearls I've ever seen. They're beautiful, they're perfect. I love the way they're drilled so that you can higgledy-piggledy them if you want. You can lay them next to, them if, next to each other if you want. I just want to make something, do you know what? I've just put one side really uniform and then the other side I need to get in line as well. I love these so much. A bracelet and a necklace set is exactly what I'd be creating. The minute I came into the studio this morning, I ran to these. I just cannot get enough of them. I think they're absolutely stunningly, stunningly beautiful. I need them. Let me put them around my neckline. If you made a choker with these, you could make a choker and have enough to do a bracelet as well. <gasps> oh, Natalia, aren't these perfect? Could you set these into rings because they've got a flat bottom? Yes, you could, but just as is there. Don't they just look I, Yeah, I wouldn't mess with them, to be honest. Yeah. I don't want to mess with them too much. No. Can I show them you around the wrist line as well? I think these are heavenly, heavenly. I love the way these are stranded. You need to get on the phone lines. We are going to such a low price tag. Now have a look. 
Already 60 of these have been allocated. They are flat on the other side. So if you wanted to set them into rings, you could. If you wanted to set them into polymer clay, you could. I am in love with the. I love pearls anyway. Thank you for saving these for me, Kim. They're just stunning. Look how long this strand is. And it can be, it's very vintage looking in this shape, isn't it? Separate them, put them in tiaras, in fascinators. They've gone higgledy piggledy there. If I just play about with them a little bit, it'll um, uniform them out. There we go. Oh, I love them. I love them. Look, look at the colors. They're soft. They're pretty. They're like a bouquet. There are so many of you on the phone lines. You all need these in your collection. You know what? I'd grab them now because I don't think you'll see them again. And what a joy. And you know, I just showed them to you as a choker. But this is a very long strand. Earrings would be beautiful. A hairband would be gorgeous. Let me try that. These would be so pretty in the hair, wouldn't they? Is that sitting nicely oh, against the hairline? Wow, that's pretty, isn't it? They'd be so pretty in the hair. That flower fairy look is really in this summer, though, isn't it? It's just got that boho look about it, it has, hasn't it? It's got that, um, that wonderful, you know, like, um, yeah, hippie chic kind of look. Yeah, I love that hippie chick look. Oh, I need these. I'm, I'm gonna buy three or four of these, I think. I'm just gonna put you back in my ear because you fell out. Sorry. Oh, I love them. I need them, I want them. Classic with a contemporary twist. Elegant, beautiful, but fun. I you sound know, like you. These are, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> I'm not elegant. I am the very opposite in fact. <laughs> Half the stuff's already. Kim, will you please give the telephone callers their price tag, you meanie? Oh, 7.95 by four by five. Do not miss out on this deal seven pounds and 95 pence for such a glorious strand of beautiful elegant pearls rqg p29 every color that you want is in this strand every color for your collections in this strand every color for your season in this strand these are breathtaking three quarters of the stock has now gone and been allocated these are going to all sell out i'm sure of it you know what what about a ring oh because they sit flat oh, i need them i need them look at that they're gorgeous you'd wear that as a ring oh, I am so excited by this strand. Can I just make a necklace out of them and wear it, please? How do I do that? I'm just gonna clasp them up. I'm just gonna twist them together. I love them. Do you love these, Natalia? I love them, yeah. I like anything that's different and new, which is a good job because there's so much of it at the moment on this channel. I am so loving all the new strands and I, things that Isn't are it so refreshing, though? Every week, for me, you know, I come in once a week, but it's so, it's so interesting to see so many new things. Have you got any around. workshops in the pipeline at the moment? I Natalia? do, yes. There's another one um, at the end of this month, I think. 27th, I think it is. Is it silver clay? I think so. Am I in on the 27th? I think I am. I'll be in for lunch and mm. silver claying. Now, I've got to go to... Sorry, I wasn't listening to you. I'm too excited. Oh, good, yes. OK, we're going to launch the silver clay for you in a minute. I'm going to have to take this off because I put it too tight. Are you strangling you? Yeah, I've strangled myself. Now... <laughs> I'm going to give you an opportunity to make, sorry, just to, to make your silver pieces. Have a look in, have a look at this. You've got this beautiful pendant that you can create with your silver art. You've got 
with your silver art clay. Now, these DVDs are wonderful, put together by the very uber and ta talented Natalia. Step by step, Natalia, is this one DVD to create the one piece here that's finished? It is, it's one project, but um, unlike beading projects and other things, um, silver clay is quite labor intensive. So yes. It, there's a lot of different techniques in there. So even if you didn't want to make that pendant per se, you could make something, you could create your own template, how, how you design that and cut it individually out of clay, how you connect two pieces of clay together, how you drill holes in it, how you make a bale, how you make silver beads, all of those, um, the, all Important of that content things. is in there. That, that's very, I mean, I want to make this pendant. I absolutely love it. Silver clay, as you know, I am on the silver clay team. I love it, it excites me, I think it makes the most incredibly beautiful jewellery, the most expensive looking jewellery, the most sellable jewellery. And this is the, these are just a few reasons it's easy. These are just a few reasons why I love it. When you create jewellery with silver clay, you get the most unbelievable sense of achievement. I've also got any metal clay, in fact, that can be said. I've also got for you the uh, metal clay, which is your bronze and your copper in there as well. We're going to give you two DVDs. Now, our DVDs are very, very popular. There's a reason why so many of you come for our DVD tutorials and buy again and again and again teaching you techniques that perhaps you've never learnt, showing you and advising you on those techniques. Each DVD, $4.95 on our websites. But today, we're gonna give you the two for six pounds and 95 pence. You're paying just two pounds for one of these DVDs. And the other you're paying the 4.95 for. A great opportunity for you to grab these tutorials and for you to start working with a new medium in silver clay. I could not be any more excited than I am now teaching you to create jewelry that is outstandingly beautiful. Jewelry just like this. Have a look at what I've got for you. Setting your own gemstones into silver. This is exquisite, Natalia. You're so talented, but it really couldn't be simpler, could it? Creating jewelry out of fine silver, because that's what it is at the end. It's better than solid stone silver. 99.9% .9 fine silver is what you're left with. Have a look at this gorgeous bracelet. Natalia creates her own patterned templates for you to use, moulds for you to use, which are available on our website. Very important um, to go and grab those because they've been put together purposely um, out of the best quality rubber that your money can buy. Uh, really fantastic. Let me give to you, before we go over to the wonderful Natalia and talk further about silver clay, I'm going to give you the opportunity to own 50 grams. Now, when I talk to you about 50 grams of silver clay, that is, of course, the weight of the clay. But that doesn't mean that you're going to get much less of a weight when this burnishes down to your fine silver. Natalia, tell me again what percentage you lose when you fire this up. Um, it, it shrinks about six to eight percent. Okay, so you're silver. still left with the majority of the clay. Majority don't wanna, of the clay. You wouldn't notice the difference, to be perfectly honest. In the workshops, what we do is we do a little Play-Doh prototype of the original design. And then when we fired the piece, we put them side by side and say, can you see the difference in the shrinkage? And what happens is you end up with a piece that's more elegant. So it shrinks in every way. It gets a little bit thinner. It gets a little bit smaller. But that makes it less cumbersome. So you know like polymer clay pieces can be quite heavy and chunky. Yes, yes, yes. We don't want the silver to look like that. We want it to be elegant. And it's fine silver. Yes. One of the, pure, well, the purest form of silver that you can own in jewellery. Fine oh. silver. 99.9% fine silver just incredible i don't want you to think that it's difficult to achieve from its clay form something like this because i promise you hand on heart one of the reasons i love this medium so much is because it's simple 
It's beautiful. Look again at the pendant that you can create. How much can I create, Natalia, out of 50 grams? Could I create a pendant like this or would I need Easily. more? Easily, you would use, inside that pack is two individually sealed packs of 25 gram clay. <sighs> So you would use one pack to create that necklace there. Just the one with half the big of this would create something yeah. so silver heavy. Natalia, I see pendants like this going for well mm. over £100. Mm. Heavy silver pieces mm. that are made from fine silver. We can expect to make a really wonderful profit mm. from. Yes, we, we can. And you know, we, I did two workshops of silver clay, introduction to silver clay and silver clay rings on Thursday and Friday last week. And when we got to the end of the workshop, we all put the pieces together and show, show what everybody's made, do a little beauty parade. And everybody said, look how chunky the pieces are. Look at the substantial pieces we've made. Can you imagine if you work, walked into a shop and something was in a display cabinet mm -hmm. and you'd say, you know, that would be £100 easily, yeah. this pendant. And yet, you know, we, we've maybe spent £20 making it. So it's very, very good value for money. So if you're watching us with your business head on this morning, thinking about ways in which you can make a profit from your jewellery making, this is your <coughs> medium. If you're thinking about ways in which to appear more professional as a jewellery maker, I always say this, I think that silver clay takes you from jewellery maker to jeweller. You're talking about creating pieces that if you go and get registered, you can have hallmarked. Pieces that will always have a value, whether it's the scrap value of silver or whether it's the silver um, value within jewellery, you have always got a piece that is worth something. To create with silver clay is an absolute godsend for me. I just adore it. I stand right behind silver clay and I tell you it is my ultimate, my favourite medium. EAA C85, come and grab what I think is the best addition to your jewellery making. Anyone out there who's taking jewellery making really seriously, you don't have to be mega talented with design for this. There is so much out there to help you. We're always here. Natalia runs workshops here all the time, so you just call the call centre for that. We'll give you information for the next one in just a second. Previously seen at 100 and eight pounds. Now remember, half of this, this pendant, a pendant very similar, could fetch around a hundred pounds. Of course, it depends on where you sell it and things like that, but that's using 25 grams. I've got 50 grams for you right here. Now is the time to pick up the phone and dial. Seen at 108 pounds, but today we're going to give you the lowest ever price tag. Currently right now at 99.95, we're going to take it lower for you. Are you ready? 50 grams. This is very naughty, Kimberly. For 89 pounds and 95 pence. Anyone that's already serious about silver clay is on the phone. I know that this could be a considered purchase for you. Remember that we do, of course, offer you the opportunity. Opportunity is the word that I want to use. Uh, to put this onto your credit card and you always get the 30 day money back guarantee if you change your mind in the interim you simply send it back it really is the most wonderful 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 thing to get in your collection 50 grams of silver clay e a a c 85 now i'm going to give you 20 grams so 20 grams natalia um what can i create out of 20 grams that's still quite a heavy gram weight it is um the bracelet that you see um that that would probably be about 10 grams of clay so you could no do come on seriously you that's could huge. do the ring next to it and the um and well, the, the ring and the uh, yes yeah you could. <gasps> mm. So you know that when you bring the price up, you know you'll see what excellent value for money it is, and it's always got a value silver, even for scrap value. So that's something that's really worth bearing in mind. Always bear that in mind. Isn't this wonderful? I just, I'm, I'm in awe of you, Natalia. I just think you're amazing. Claire is booking herself on your next silver clay workshop. Oh, really? Claire, can you oh, see if I'm in on that day? And I'm, I'm going to come too. Because I keep coming in in dribs and drabs. <laughs> yeah, Usually at all of you, we don't want the drib and Usually the drab. Usually at lunchtime. Can you imagine if you were in the workshop, we'd never get anything done. We right, would, would we? I'm, I'm quite... Um, Are you very focused when you're When I'm excited by something, 
nothing stands in my way. Oh, okay. I'm like this. Right, okay. And I will ask you every annoying question. That's what I'm worried about. <laughs> that will happen. <laughs> this is why I used to get sent out of school. Look, Jenny, just get out. And I'd be like, no, why can't you answer this question? And I'd ask most ridiculous questions. Have a look. So if you're coming on the next workshop, Jenny's going to be on it. Well, I need to know absolutely everything <laughs> about it, you see. And I just think, get myself but You must get yourself booked in the workshop. It will be one of the most fabulous things you've ever done. And just think about this. If you're talking about silver clay with your business head on, if you're thinking about this with your business head on, think about how much business courses are. Think about how much it is. Uh, you, you know, th this tutorial, these workshops are wonderful value for money. And they are such a good idea if you're thinking about pushing your, your business even further. So for 20 grams, the same rules apply how wonderful the silver is. For 49.95, you can create this ring and this pendant on the bracelet for 49.95. I think you're about to be making huge profits on this one. What? An incredible buy for you. Now I'm going to keep going with that silver clay and give to you the 10 grams. 10 grams will will create easily a ring, won't it? Easily a ring, yes. Um, it will definitely create a, um, a small pendant, a, a couple of pairs of earrings. So, you know, it's a, it's a really good buy, the 10 gram pack. And, and also, you know, if you only wanted to make a couple of pieces and you didn't want any leftovers, so it's always advisable to go for a smaller gram weight. Especially when you start out, Natalia. Yeah, definitely. I mean, you can keep the clay hydrated, but I always say you're better off to go open a smaller pack. If you know what you're doing, it's a small piece that you're making. Get yourself on the phone lines for this one. I do think it's the perfect way to start off 10 grams of silver clay going for a fantastic price tag of just £26.95. and pence. Natalia's saying a pendant and a couple of little pieces that you can make. This may be some earrings out of, 20, out of 10 grams. You can easily make a ring, maybe two rings out of 10 grams. You lose up to 8% of the, gra of the uh, total gram weight. That is it. £26.95. and pence. J-O-A, C-36. If you want to get intricate, then it's your silver art clay syringe that you need. I'm going to open this and show you. So if you want to add detail to your pieces, you fire it up first, don't you? Do you fire it up first or do you do it after, at the same time? Um, if you want to use this syringe for your little oh, details. Oh, you, you would apply the syringe as a, as a decoration onto clay that hasn't been fired. Hasn't Allow been it to dry. Oh, sorry, that's dried. That's it. Yeah. You dry it first, yeah. then you put your intricate um, detailing in. So for your swirls, let's see. Have you used this I've on I've used any? it around the... Uh, I've used it to, to stick the two pieces together. You can see where it's layered. And then also for the, um, the clear cabochons, um, I've used it on the front. Can you see the cabochons on the second piece? I've used it as like a little... Which piece? This piece? Yes. Can you see the little cabochon? You've used it to yeah. create the cabochon? Yeah. yeah. So I took... I t there, there is a tip that comes in with it, but I didn't use the tip. I just used the, the fat end of the So you, you created your own cab... It's amazing. Amazing. Like a little bezel. She's fabulous. She's fabulous. What can I say? This is why we love Natalia Coleman. And for other reasons, but this <laughs> mainly. Are you ready? You can get your detail syringe. And you have got 10 grams. So you could add pattern to a design. You could add pattern to a ring. You could create your own bezel on a pendant with this. Really exciting addition to your silver clay. If you want to become a designer of jewellery, this is the medium that you want. Natalia, have you got your own um, jewellers? You need it. I've actually, I've got a, something I made, a little earring. I can't find the other one, but do you want to, to show this? This is what I did, just piped some syringe onto a piece of greaseproof paper in a random kind of pattern. And then um, just allow it to dry and don't do anything else to it, just fire it and you get this really wonderful effect and you use so little of the syringe. And then there's just a little hematite that I've suspended from there. But don't they look great? Amazing. 
Amazing. Currently priced at just £27.45, but we're going to take that price tag down. Are you ready to get known this amazing, amazing intricate tool and to create something really artistic actually for £21.45? That is your price tag. Get yourself on the phone lines. Make sure you're checking out your baskets if you are shopping online with us today. Wow. Now the paste is great for sticking pieces together, isn't it, Natalia? And also yeah. for filling out any yeah. cracks that you might have. Is that true? Yeah, that's right. Or is that just me that does that? No, no, that I use that. Um, you know, so, sometimes when you, the clay's dried, you get these little um, grooves appearing, cracks that you didn't see originally. So you know, you can use it to. to I use it to grout to fill in these little cracks. I like that. Now it's the consistency of milkshake is how you describe it, isn't Melted it? ice cream. Melted ice cream. Well, yeah. that's milkshake to me. <laughs> Melted yes. ice cream consistency. And it's really easy to use. Dab it on. Use it to bond pieces together to fill out cracks. Mm -hmm. It's a great addition. Now, if you're already um, using your silver art plate, you, you're, your light bulb will go off in your head right now and go, I need that. I need that. Because you do, don't you? Yeah, you do. And once you start a paste jar off, you usually don't need to buy another one because what happens is you sand and smooth your clay when it's dry and you end up with lots Sweeping. of little bits left over and you just put, put it into your paste jar, you add a little bit of water and you start to build your own paste up. Oh, she's a clever one. That's why, that's why she's here, the brains of silver clay. Are you ready? So Kiki, that's a really great tip actually, Natalia. We're gonna give you a wonderful price tag of just 19 pounds and 95 pence. You got 10 grams again for this and it really is one of those must have pots for you. And don't forget, like Natalia said, you can replenish it. Uh, in fact, completely for free if you're using your own little um, particles of silver clay. Now, I've got for you your metal clay. Make sure you're checking out baskets for the DVDs because they are very fast approaching limited stock. I like uh, the word Prometheus with this <laughs> clay. Prometheus clay. Can I open this, Kim, or not? No, says Kim, because I get it everywhere. Prometheus clay. Have we got any examples? Oh, let me have a little route around the clay. knife box. Thanks. Thank you, Natalia. We've got some photos in the interim to show you what you can create with bronze. Look at that. Oh, my gosh, Roman goddess. Isn't it good? Look, Natalia, you gave me one like that, pendant like this out of bronze clay. I love it. Nice. Yeah. Do you, back in the very early days back when you liked day. me. Yeah. This is bronze And then the clay. coins. <gasps> Thank you. Oh my word. Oh, look at those rings. Bring those in, please. How amazing. You don't need to swell against this, do you? Oh, no. Well, I mean, you could do. It'd look great, though. Oh. The thing is, you've got How enough... did you do this? Well, I had a, a wooden mould of a, um, you, you know, a carved green man and I took a mould of it using the moulding pussy that we have on the website and, um, and that's how he turned out because I thought he needed to be bronze. We've got moulding putty on the website? Yeah, yeah. it's two part moulding putty it's called. Kim, where is this moulding putty please? I, I would like you to bring it to the show. <laughs> Give it to me now. Moulding putty? Yeah. I bet I can use that for for things like resin and jewel yes, enamel as well. Yes, you could use it for all of that because it's silicon and it doesn't stick inside the mould. So you don't need to um, prep it, you know, to put any resist in there. We need this. We need this. Uh, look, look out for that. It is on our website. Have a look. Uh, 100 grams of bronze clay. So with 100 grams, we're creating loads. Loads of pieces. I mean, goodness me, you can go absolutely wild with that. And um, I did some pieces for the NEC. I do tell everybody this. I repeat myself. But I, I made about um, four or five pieces, quite chunky pieces, and I used a 100 gram pack for those. Wow. 
is this the most cost effective way to start out with your metal clays if you don't want to go straight into silver because it can be quite expensive well it's it's not expensive when you compare it to what you can sell it for but it's this is a, a more inexpensive way of working with your metal clays it is yes and then they are totally different as materials to work with silver clay is elegant beautiful easy to fire simple it doesn't stain your hands um, so so I, I think it's wonderful in terms of quantity you have your, your bronze and your copper clays and yes they are so much less expensive a little bit harder to work with a little bit more challenging to fire so completely different experiences both of them I haven't I'm gonna be honest with you I haven't used copper or bronze yet mm. I've just gone straight in there with silver to be honest because I'll tell you what it is about silver nine ninety nine 99.9% .9 fine silver I want to work with it yeah me too. You should be paying just fourteen ninety five. So this is wonderful, very cost effective, and it does create the most outstanding pendants. And you can see Natalia obviously really enjoys working with both the bronze and the copper because look at the pieces of jewellery she creates with it. You can mix it up. Definitely very in fashion to mix your metals. Twelve pounds and ninety five pence. For 100 grams, this is an incredible deal. Uh, and, and you've got that 30 day money back guarantee. You really can create some really individual pieces. Do you know what? You're limited just by your imagination. And uh, I'm going to give you a copper clay now, so a different look. More of a rose gold y kind of look with, with the copper. Well, you know the difference between bronze and copper. Have a look at what I've got for you now. Oh, I love these clays. I really do. I really, really do. And how Roman goddess are oh, these? If you're thinking about your steampunk, then you'd use copper, wouldn't yeah, you? Yeah, you would, definitely. I mean, it's just wonderful because if you've been working with silver a lot and then, you know, you, you go to copper and bronze clay, you've got that warm metal, it's very current, it's chunky, it's very earthy looking. It's just a whole different effect and it gives your designs a whole different look and feel. Definitely more of a vintage feel, actually, Natalia, yes, with these. Yes, definitely, and, and um, you know, that, that whole kind of ancient look. But then you can make them very highly polished as well, so you can give it a very, um, very contemporary look too. You can. I, I just, I love it. It always reminds me of, um, I, this is going to be the most ridiculous thing I've ever said, but have you ever seen Star Wars, which I'm obsessed with, when C-3PO comes out of his oil bath <laughs> that Obi-Wan <laughs> Kenobi gives him, and he gleams, Aww. and at the end when he gets his medal, that's what this reminds me of when you polish it up. Yeah, it looks it does. so incredible. It is like C-3PO, isn't it? Which is a silly comparison, I know, because you're making gorgeous jewellery. £12.95 is your price tag. Make sure you are quick on this one because we are very busy on the phone lines. It's so lovely to have your company. You know what? If you've bought all of these wonderful clays, you don't need a gas torch, but it makes your life easier. Have a look at what I've got for you. I've got the gas torch here. There are other ways in which the gas torch um, can work their way into our jewellery. Have a look at this. Natalia, do you use the gas? I've seen you use this gas torch when we're in studio. When we did our... Um, was it get started with metal clay or was yeah. it... Yes, we yeah, could... It, uh, you used the gas torch then. Um, now, you can use your gas hob at home. These are portable, though. You can take these um, wherever you go, if you're doing workshops or what have you. Do you tend to use these gas torches often? Yes, I do all the time. And um, you definitely need to use it for the metal clays, for the, for the copper and bronze clays. You can fire your silver clay with a torch, but you can use a, a gas hob, which you can't use a gas hob for your, metal, for your, for your copper and bronze clays. So it's really essential. The other thing is if you're into silversmithing, so you know if you're doing any kind of soldering or any other kind of flame work, um, you can get fine silver wire and you can fuse that, you can boil the ends of, of, um, of sterling silver wire. So you oh, need to touch you? that, yeah. Now you need to um, replenish your gas only. Where do I get my gas from? Is it the same, and I'm thinking it is, as the ones for my hair tongs? It's um, the butane propane mix. Yeah. So, so I get, yeah, that's what I use for my hair tongs, yeah. which I just get in yeah. that famous chemist. And you turn, you turn the gas torch upside down, 
and then you take the bottle of gas and you push it into the little hole at the base of the torch. It's really important to turn the torch upside down and press the, the gas into it rather than the other way around. So get yourself on the phone line for this. It's just £11.95. It's incredible. Now, I know that a lot of you are on the phone lines asking about Natalia's uh, metal clay workshops. We're going to give you the information on that right now. Come and join in the fun with international art clay instructor Natalia Coleman as she teaches you the basics of making personalised rings from silver clay. During the course of the day, you will learn how to create your own rings, add texture and decoration, finishing and polishing, and how to add colour to your finished piece. The full course includes use of all relevant tools, a buffet-style lunch and refreshments, a tour of the studios, a chance to meet our presenters, and have a chance to visit our Gemstone Museum. All of this for just $99.95. To book your place, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. Jewelry Maker, bringing out the designer in you. Welcome back to Jewelry Maker. Please don't forget, I've got the birthstone uh, collection coming up for you in today's show. Just wonderful. We're going to launch these in half an hour's time. Super excited about these. They're gorgeous. You've got a diamond in there as well. We've also got the garnet collection for you. You're going to have a look at those. Have a look at that. The garnet collection coming up for you very, very soon. I have also got the most adorable strand of zircon. Mm. And I've also got some moonstone. In shades that I've never seen, you've got the deepest and you've got smoky there as well. Now, you need to be on the phone lines for this kit because you've got the most beautiful gemstones. Every single gemstone strand is a feature gemstone. And you've got rose gold findings. You need this kit in your life. Gorgeous, you've got the chips of smoky quartz, when was the last time we saw, sorry, not chips, they're nuggets, aren't they? Nuggets of smoky quartz. I can't remember the last time we saw a double strand of smoky quartz in this way. And with the rose gold findings, absolutely perfect. What I want you to know is that because most of our strands are about 30 centimetres long and this strand is 80 centimetres long, you have in effect got two strands. We could just have given you half of this, but we've given you the both. So you've got a double strand there. One, so let's count that as two, three, four, five. You've got six strands in this kit. Six incredible strands. I'm also going to give you another feature strand of the Quartz All-Stars. We have got citrine in the hugest size. Now that looks like a big piece of amber, doesn't it? Absolutely stunning. You have got your amethyst, a birth gemstone, and your preonite. Absolutely beautiful gemstones here. And you also have rose quartz, a very breathtaking strand. And look at these, my ultimate goodies. Preonite rounds of six mil. I love this kit. I think it's gorgeous. Right up my street, these colours. Now, I'd use these all individually already, or I'd put them all together. And I love it when that happens with a kit because you've got so much scope. And then have a look at these gorgeously 
beautiful multicolored quartz, but these are the honey tones of quartz. When we say multicolored quartz, you often think about lighter tones. These are the honey toned multicolored quartz. You've got really beautiful pinks in there, but really stunning sort of set honey tones in there. R just beautiful blossom honey tones in there as well. And look at the hematite. What perfection. Six strands in one kit and rose gold findings as well. We need this kit in our life. Look at all of these gorgeous rose gold findings. I'm in love, I'm in love with them. A meter of chain, your eye pins, your head pins. We've already reached limited stock for this kit. You've got all your usuals as well. You've got your beading thread, your elastic, and your monofilament. So you are ready to create as soon as you get this gorgeous kit home. Five strands, but really and truly, it's six strands if you count that one as a double strand, which is more than, because you've got 10 centimeters more already than two strands put together. So I'm definitely counting that as a double strand. Six strands in one kid, and we're gonna give you the most incredible price tag you should be paying. Of course you should be paying around 30 pounds. I would pay more than that for all of this, knowing that I have got 98 findings, knowing that I've got monofilament, elastic, and my beading thread, knowing that I've got six strands, 30 pounds, an absolute bargain. But uh, we put this kit together, not only to inspire you, but also to give you an incredible value. When you're buying in bulk with us here at Jewelry Maker, you're making a saving, are you ready? At 17 tiny pounds, 17 pounds? It's an amazing price tag. Absolutely fan bloom fantastic. WUG C02, the Smokey Joe jewelry kit. And I know you're gonna fall in love with it even deeper when you see, oh my gosh, those stealable earrings. I'm gonna go over and see the gorgeous Natalia who inspires me in a way that nobody else can. She is just one of those amazingly talented jewelry designers. And we were chatting last night on the phone and um, Natalia, you are funny because you said to me, I said, what about wire working a certain gemstone? And you said, I'm no good at wire working. You are an expert at so many, and, and it is funny, isn't it? Because jewelry makers uh, that watch us here, and I actually am, am guilty of this, I presume that, you know, we can all do everything, and mm. how, but how lovely, we've all got our own niches. Mm. Yours is the metal clay yes. and design, shrink plastic, you're amazing. You're very designer yeah. you're in your background. You have that, and I think Gemma Crow and uh, Cherry, in fact, as well, is, is the same. You have the most artistic flair. Um, a lot of our other de um, designers here uh, work very structurally. I'd say Mark is very mm -hmm. structural, mm -hmm. He is, and that's where his um, designs come to life, but you are the most incredible designer. Oh, you're very you. artistic, and you certainly should have your own jewellers. <laughs> I, I, I think much. you should. I am really serious about that. Oh, bless your heart. Now, the jewellery that you create is always, to me, it always looks expensive, mm. which is why I always want to steal it. <laughs> um, <laughs> and that is what, I, I mean, I love your Gatsby tassel here. These earrings for me, are an absolutely divine. They're my favourite colour yeah, combination. Green it. and pink together, love them. Go beautifully with your outfit. Well, I was no, thinking to steal them for that yeah, very reason, definitely. in fact. I think what I love most about this kit is, you know, I'm really inspired by colour. I'm mm. inspired by certain gemstones. And these are just all, you know, certain kits, all of the gemstones in the kit, they just marry together so beautifully yeah. and so well. So when you these put the do. strands out, they're all just kind of mingling together and you think, yeah, I can see the possibilities of combining them in any way I choose. And that for me is when you have a kit that just hits the spot, it's like baby bear's porridge. Yes. It's just absolutely <laughs> perfect. <laughs> I love that comparison. I love your so, ACR. And you know, when I, I open all my kits up, this is my little routine that I have, and I have a look at them, and I think the one that is my favourite I save to last because I want to go on that the downward stretch. I want a toboggan it. into 
design world, you know, and really <laughs> enjoy myself. And this is the one I saved. Oh, until hilarious. Left. And I agree with that. And actually, not just that, Natalia, you start turning the wheels of design motion and you just get yeah. faster and faster and yeah, you creative do. and creative. And you suddenly you've been there for hours and you've created some of your best pieces. Yeah. Uh, and they, they do tend to come further along the line. Yeah, and this is yeah. one of those kits. You need to be quick. It's now <laughs> very, very limited. We're approaching single figures for this kit. I love it. When you get this kit home, trust me, it does not disappoint in any way. In fact, it excites. That's what it does. And, and we all love it when that happens. Can you imagine? Rose gold and hematite. And for me, I just adore the pre and I. I love oh, every I single love strand. That. Don't you? Every just... single strand. And you can create some real luxury sort of mm. evening pieces. You've got the amber tones mixed with the yeah. smoky. Oh, very summery as well. Yeah. Very good for your collections, Natalia, because mm. a lot of uh, jewellery makers, a lot of crafties are now, anyone who's really crafty is working, aren't you? September, October, November. You are so mm. organised. And it's important to be able to get from your stash when you are, when you are creating, but you mm. need to be able to go, oh, I've got a fake coming up next week. I've got a, a jewelry making party coming up next week. I need some more summer pieces. Somebody's bought some. You know, you, you need to be able to keep on top of your gemstones. Um, you know what? This is the perfect. You need to do inspirational that strands, though, don't you? And these mm. are absolutely it. I can't sell it enough. I can't, Quiet. you know, you, it is fantastic. <laughs> Let's do a technique, shall yes, we? Yes, shall we? What well, are we going to show? Well, I was torn between the two necklaces. I did a little bit of. It's not really asymmetric. The one on the far left. But it's kind of inspired by Linda. And they've got ladder weave but, in there. Yeah, la they have ladder weave, but they're two different colours. I'm not going to do that one. I was torn. I wanted to do that. But you've it's seen very way. Gatsby, darling. Isn't it, though? It is. I need to go and see that. I'm going to go and see that I film with my either. daughter. I haven't seen either. We'll go together, shall weekend. we? Well, we'll, get, we'll have to go. I'll, I'll um, and mind you, it won't be in the cinemas much longer, will it? I will always it leave things until the I mean, and then it comes out on the yeah, telly. Yeah, I don't want to see it on the I telly. I did that with Django. I really wanted to go to yeah. the cinema to see that. So has a d completely different experience, doesn't it, when you're at yeah. the cinema? But I'm going to make the other one, actually. I'm oh, sorry, yeah, of course you are. <laughs> sorry, I was just uh, um, telling you about how much I like that other necklace as well. But yeah, this one with the, with the clusters, because I was never a big fan of nuggety, chippy kind of strands. And um, I've fallen in love with, with them, particularly the smooth nuggets. Um, and the, these ones are beautiful. It's funny how our mind changes mm. when we start to design and when we start to look at other yeah. people's designs as well. Because I agree with you. I, was ne I never went for the chips and nuggets until mm -hmm. lately. And I actually think it was Sheila mm -hmm. that made me fall in love with them because she mixes them with pearls. She does so many beautiful things yeah. with that, doesn't she? I mean, mm. we all think of Mark in terms of that, but ah, uh, oh, no, she's very good. Sheila's brilliant, um, yeah. What I love to do is to cluster them together like that because I, I, like, I like to see volume with the chips. I don't want yes. to see them really, really thin. I do, yeah, I agree with you. So what I've done is um, taken three strands of my beading thread and it, it's about... Um, what are we saying about three quarters of a metre long? Crikey, yeah. You make it nice and long because you take up more more of the beading thread as you're putting the the, uh, the, the nuggets on. So then I've um, I've threaded my little amber coloured stone on here because I love it. It's so amber. That's my focal point on my necklace because that's the one that it just floats my boat. That yeah. colour, gorgeous. And me, I love it. My grandma used to have um, beads of amber, and I used to wear them all the time yeah. when I was little. And they were graduated, and they have got. I might go and see whether she's still. She will still have them. Used to have they have got the around. most incredible so inclusions. I'm going to yeah. hunt around. Um, but she used to say, if you rub them, you can make a wish. My grandma Aww. is exceptionally superstitious. I wish on everything. And me. Yeah, my mum said you drop a knife on the floor, you make a wish. Right. Oh, so, I'm going to try um, that. I'll be throwing <laughs> knives around. <laughs> yeah, carefully. Um, I've, I've just put one of the little rose coal, rose cold, rose gold coloured beads on all three strands. And then I'm going to put that up to my amber stone. I've got a lot of beading right here, so. There we go. So it's always that. important to have more rather than uh, not enough, isn't it? And then what I'm going to do is take the first of my strands and you're putting four of the, the little smoky quartz on here, if you can find the holes for them. And you're going to do the same on each of the three strands. So do this, this one quickly. You can never find the bead holes. When you're trying to do things in a hurry, you can never do it, can you? Uh, there we go. So they go on easily. So well, the other two I will do the same. And then I've got one that I've actually started off over here, which has got everything attached to it. Okay. There we go. 
And can you see what happens? So when you've done, you've got four of those, and it doesn't matter what shape they are, they will all sit together really beautifully. So you're going to push those together to make a little cluster. Don't worry about doing it too, too perfectly. Take your, th your three strands, put them all together, and put another of the rose gold beads on all three strands. Push that down, and then once you do that, it will form this perfect little cluster like that. Can you see? Mm -hmm. And then it just does it, it forms its own shape, and I've done it on the other side. It's a little bit more labour intensive doing a necklace like this because you've got a lot of threading, but you've got a lot of nuggets as well because you've got that double strand. Yeah, with them. it's worth it with that end result. Yeah, and then what I did was I alternated between the beautiful purple colour there, like mm, that. It's like ametrine, those two together, yeah, aren't they? And then the rose are quartz these beautiful. Colours. And they're all the same size. This is what's wonderful and um, so beautiful all together, those sorbet colours, so elegant mm. and just kind of melt in the mouth kind of colours, aren't they? They really are, I mean like you said there, that float my boat kind of colours, mm -hmm. these are definitely the kind of colours I love and I yeah. know they're the kind of colours you love too, so this kit for me, and you've got the glamour of the hematite, yeah. you've got the richness of that fabulous double strand of, of smoky quartz and prionite, what? A wonderful, wonderful gemstone. Now, I do need to urge you to check out your baskets if you're shopping with us online because this gorgeous kit is approaching sold out. Uh, just $17.95 for six strands. I am not surprised. Don't forget, you've got rose quartz in there as well. And you can, of course, grab this kit on the phone lines of 800-644-655. Now, let's go and have a look at what you've done with your previous kits by checking out your gorgeous designs in the Wall of Fame. <laughs> We'd like to thank absolutely everybody for sending in your wonderful, inspiring designs to the Wall of Fame. Without you, we would just, uh, do you know, we actually do draw inspiration from the we Wall do. of Fame. We do, and the first thing I do when I come in the studio is look at everybody's designs. And me, and I think it's always nice to show everybody, like the like the friendly plastic, because yeah. uh, I got really excited about that, because the other day I was trying to find some pictures of friendly plastic, I couldn't find it anywhere, so thank you so much. Number 45, what a lovely, Isn't lovely bracelet. And it's from Mandy Twells, who says, Hi all at JM. Loving the show today. Love Mandy. Well done, Mandy. It's, this is gorgeous. And it's a flat stitch, isn't it, on the... Yeah, and it, and it can be a little bit organic, mm. which makes it look even more interesting, doesn't it? With wire, I love that. The lazy yeah. strand is... Uh, looks like it's... Oh, it's wire as well, yeah. actually. It's lovely. Yeah, they're both wire. And then this one is number 46. Lily is. Using the toolkit as a little backdrop I there. Like I, like that. That. I like that. So this is from Sharon Newman, and she says, um, I've used a pair of rose quartz lily earrings with sterling mm. silver shepherd hook findings, all from JM. Simple but lovely. Just need to be brave enough to make a matching necklace. Keep up the good work from Sharon. Sharon, Just that would one be of those really on good, necklace. wouldn't it? I yeah. think I'd like to see that. Send it in when you, when you do do it. I hope I'm one when you send it in. Wire. Wire oh, tastic. Wire. Yeah. If you're wire not wire. into wire yet, grab one of our DVDs. It's going to take your designs even further. 47 is from lovely Jane Bloxham in Blackwood. Hi, all at Jewelry Maker. Uh, decided to have a go at wire work after watching your excellent DVDs. They really are wonderful, those DVDs. It's my entry to this week's Wall of Fame, all made with 0.8 antique bronze wire and a variety of gems from Jewelry Maker. Good fun making the rings, but I need to improve my sizing. Well, do you know what? Grab our ring mantle. It's on the on the. Um, website for you Jane. Uh, the bracelets I am pleased with as I wanted to achieve an Egyptian style. Your prices are at the moment are brilliant and I'm enjoying learning. Next, jewel enamel. Good luck Jane, you're going to love it. I think you're fabulous yeah. already. Isn't it great to see work. so many different designs mm. all in one wall of fame? I love too. that, um, the pearly gorgeous, one. Well done, it's gorgeous. And then another really great wide variety of designs here. The earrings are fabulous. Oh, so I beautiful. love it. Very. 48. 
Look at this fan. Yeah, that's oh, inspired by that. Gemma's design. Mm, I love it. I love to see it. people doing stuff with the druzy because sometimes you kind of get stuck and you think, what What can I do with it? I, I, do you know, herringbone and druzy for yeah. me is the way to go. Beautiful. Love it. And this is from Katie and she says, hi everyone at Jewelry Maker. Here's my entry for the Wall of Fame this week. Two pairs of, ju of druzy earrings. Had these druzy for ages and finally done something with them. Now, when are you going to have more in? Coated hematite cubes bracelet, had these ages too. Fan necklace, thanks Gemma Crow for all your inspiration. That black agate faceted rice beads with Dalmatian Jasper and agate bicones, all from JM. And she says, lots of love from showery South Wales. Oh, Katie, you had a really good we good weather in South Wales this weekend. Did they? Yeah, they did. Oh, I love Wales. 49, look at this. Oh, fabulous. I love seeing things that are so different. Yeah. And I am so loving scale mail. It's very Beyonce, isn't it, Scale Mail? You have got <laughs> yeah. from Lil, Lynn Allen. I nearly said called you Lily Allen then. He, Lily said, sorry, Lynn <laughs> says, Hi all at JM. Here's my entry for this week's Wall of Pain. I've been playing around with the chain mail and scale mail again. Thanks to Debbie and her shower curtain rings, I finally got the hang of making Byzantine chain. Uh, I was having a hippie moment when I made this and the scale mail is so light, it's great for hair combs. Well done. Do you know what? It's absolutely beautiful. I love that. That's a What's really, IMO? really novel idea. What's IMO? Is that L? I don't know what that means. Some kind of... Is it, it's what, sorry? In my opinion. Oh! I've got to... I am so no, behind. I can't. Mia is like, your daughter do this to you. Yeah. Just goes... Ugh. My whole text message is from my daughter. I can't understand any yeah. of them because it's all shorthand. And, and uh, BTW, I was like, what does that mean? T and Mia's like, by the way... TTFN. Ta -ta for now. Yeah, but that's an old one, TTFN. Yeah. That, they used to I'm just getting that blanket. one. It's like 20 years old. I've only just got it. Yeah, that's an old one. Blankety the diamond. diamond. They used to do <laughs> TTFN, didn't they? Yeah. You are showing your age now. Have a look. I like that. And uh, Bullseye. Yeah. I used to love watching In game one. shows. In one. My dad actually did the set for Bullseye. Okay. And I've got a rubber bullion tank. Oh, I always wanted one of those. I didn't want the speedboat with the caravan. I just wanted the rubber, rubber bullion. bullion. <laughs> we can buy them now, but I've got an original one. Have you? Yeah, there Where's you go. It? You have to come round now. Your bedside. No, no, he's in the <laughs> cupboard actually. Have a look at what's coming up for you. To own after the break. Ooh. I can't wait for this. It is, of course, the Birth Gem Collection. We will be right back. The Jewelry Maker Wall of Fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jewelry designer. And each week, one lucky entrant will win £100 credited to their Jewelry Maker account, and the runner up receives £50. If you want to enter your design, just send a photo to studio at jewelrymaker.com, or you can post your photos to Wall of Fame, The Genuine Gemstone Company, Unit 2D, Eagle Road, Moon's Moat, Redditch, B989HF. Jewelry Maker course gift vouchers are now available. You can choose from a bronze, silver or gold voucher. Each voucher is worth a different amount that entitles you to put towards a course of your choice. For more information, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. you need a helping hand to get started with Jewelry Maker? Are you stuck for ideas and need inspiration? Then visit our Jewelry Maker website where you can find our video tutorials. Expand your knowledge and skills with these easy to follow jewelry making demonstrations. Whether you're a beginner, hobbyist or business owner, there's always something new to learn. It couldn't be easier. Simply click and learn some new jewelry making techniques. No. 
Yes, that is the jewellery maker uh, studio continues with Amelia's announcement that if she gets married, she's going to make her own surname up. And she was thinking the surname Salad because everyone makes friends with Salad. You don't make friends with Salad. I don't know. I don't. Who makes friends with Salad? This is my best friend, Cucumber. I've ditched tomato this week. What's wrong with you? Like, your brain is mad now. I love her, though. It's time. Yeah, chocolate, I understand. Salad? OK. And this is my brain salad. <laughs> have a look. We do have a laugh. We are going to give you the birth gemstone collection in just a tick. But before that, I am so proud to be giving you the Garnet Collection. Now, this isn't for you if you're not into your extra special gemstones, but it's for you if you consider yourself a collector. This is for you if you are somewhat of a connoisseur of the gemstones. I can imagine you with your fabulous stand at that rock and gem show, at that jewellery fair, displaying this on your table showcasing the fact that you use genuine gemstones and this is wonderful you know why how many different garnets do you have already in your collection in your jewelry now when we try and explain garnet to our customers people just think garnet is a red gemstone but they're wrong because it comes in so many different shades and this is the perfect way of being able to show your customers all the different garnet that in fact is out there on the market. From the Mozambique garnet to the beautiful Madagascan colour change garnet, you've got over a carat of Rajasthan garnet. How many of us are in love with Zavarite garnet? Look at it, you've got it right there. And there we go, here it is. Zavarite garnet, so fiery, so beautiful. A demantoid garnet you have, a cabochon cut red garnet, a brilliant cut imperial garnet from Brazil, an African rhodolite garnet, a specerite garnet, over three carats of Zambian garnet. You've got another Zavarite garnet in there too. You've got another rhodolite garnet, a Mali garnet, which is extremely rare. You can find within this collection. What an incredible collection it is. Your Mali garnet is just stunning. Natalia, can I set these garnets into my silver clay? Um, that's a good point. I have a, there is a list on the Jewelry Maker blog of, okay, of we'll gemstones that. that can be set into silver clay, and I don't know off the top of my head about but garnet. But I can always prong set. You can prong set. I have a feeling you can, but think that's you only can. an educated guess right now. I would need to check that. Now you can put these on display in your workshop. In fact, just to um, just a quick note, these are actually in a frame that you can put, you can see there, you can put straight onto the wall. So these are for your workshop. These are of course for setting into your jewellery. For you, the connoisseur of the gemstone, for anyone who demands luxury for the jewellery maker that's just got to have it all. This is your collection, USG C40 for all of this garnet. £49.95, less than £2.50 per wonderful gemstone. And you know what? It's a perfect gift, isn't it, for anybody out there that is jewellery making? Maybe you're thinking about buying that perfect gift for a fellow jewellery maker. This has got to be it, hasn't it? For £49.95, in comparison to a lot of the gemstones that we give you, it is a considered purchase. But it is for you if you are someone that considers yourself a very well-established jewellery maker somebody who appreciates their gemstones. 
definitely for you. You've got to have it all. Now it's time to give you the birthday, the birth gemstone collection. I have got for you an incredible box full of your gorgeous gemstones. You need to be on the phone lines right now. We've only got 70 in stock and if you want the birth gem collection, this is perfect for putting on display. This is perfect for taking with you to your jewelry making parties and explaining all of the birth gemstones. This is perfect for you if you want to set high end gems into your jewelry. I speak to you. January's birthstone, garnet. Of February's birthstone, amethyst an aquamarine for march a diamond for april so exciting to own such an incredible kit may's birth gemstone you've got a cabochon emerald you've got a moonstone you have a ruby You've got a peridot for August, September's sapphire, tourmaline representing October, a topaz for November, and a tanzanite for December. Look at the size of the tanzanite there. How fabulous. If you're into doing your prawn set jewelry, this is for you the topaz the tourmaline that's yellow tourmaline that you've got there the sapphire i love this kit look at the ruby that is a beautiful ruby you need to be on the phone lines now, already approaching half of the entire stock has gone and been allocated. IDC, I21 is your item code. You've got a 30 day money back guarantee. I'm definitely encouraging multi buying right now because I don't want anyone missing out on the deal that I'm about to give to you. For all 12 gemstones, 27 pounds and 95 pence always great to have as many birth gemstones as you can in your collection always important to show your clients and customers those little that little diamond it's gorgeous isn't it all of the, your collections here for your birth gemstones you can prong set them you can bezel set them you can keep them in their display box just to show to your customers and clients. This is an incredible deal. There are cues on the phone lines. If you're experiencing engaged tones, please hang up and redial. It does look like we are going to sell out of these. What an amazing deal this is. So exciting to get all these gorgeous collector's gem cut so beautifully. And what impeccable value and quality you're getting. Buying gorgeous birth gemstone collection well done to you looks like those might actually sell out in the live show do try if you're watching the repeats but I can't promise that you're going to be successful what an amazing addition let me remind you that we have another birth gemstone December's birth gemstone along with turquoise of zircon coming up for you Kim, I'm feeling a little bit like I need a lucky dip. I love a lucky dip. I might do a big lucky dip for Max's birthday party on Saturday, fill it with sawdust or something. Or how do I make slime? That's even better for boys, isn't it? Slime. How do I make slime? Oh, I know, you get that, I know what you get. You get the stuff that you put in the bath that makes the bath jelly that is amazing. Kids love that, don't they? That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna fill, I've got a brilliant idea. I'm gonna fill a paddling pool with that slime. Yes. This is why my partner hates me, but my kids love me. <laughs> What's all this slime all over the house? <laughs> Have a look. He doesn't really hate me at this lucky dip. Do you know what, Kim? This is gorgeous. Have a look at these seed beads. Are these aquamarine? Look at this, it's adorable. 
It's serpentine. It looks like aquamarine, honestly. Honest to God, look at this. Absolutely, oh, these CD beads are beautiful. Look at the Lampadrite. I love this. Then you've got your Crackle Quartz. I've got my Sodalite in there as well. Oh, I love this. And then you've got the fun strand for the kids in the, in the holidays. You've got your elegance there and you've got your fun. So if you are creating, like I said, summer fake jewelry and things like that, perfect this strand because one of these on a Shambhala style bracelet, really affordable for the kids because you don't give the kids loads of money, do you, in, this, in the summer, when it's summer fake time. You've got 10 organza gift bags in the purple. So 10 of those. Now you've also got sterling silver crimps and they're the big ones. You can put those in between gemstones if you want. How many are, are there, Kim? There's loads in that bag. Oh, there's 40 of them. Now you've also got your glitter. Oh. Now you can pour this into your jewel enamel. I love glitter. I'm such a child, aren't I? You can, of course, use this with other, uh, in conjunction with other crafts. Do you ever use glitter in your jewellery designs, Natalia, darling? Have you used it in resin? In resin, yes. yes. It looks amazing in resin. Mm -hmm. What about polymer clay? Can I push it into polymer yes, clay? Yes, you can. And so in fact, Debbie does some really fantastic demonstrations of that. It looks really good in, in polymer clay. Oh, don't you just love it? Can you use I it love on shrink glitter. plastic, actually. <gasps> shrink plastic. Shrink plastic. And um, please, can we have a shrink plastic show soon? Let's do that, please. Let's make it happen. The diva that is Jenny Clear has just decided. Your lucky dip bag is going to save you ten pounds. Two pots of glitter, forty sterling silver crimp beads, ten organza gift bags. One, two, three, four, five strands. And I'm going to give you the dimensions of those strands right now. You've got your soda like 12 mil round, serpentine 2 mil seed beads. I could have sworn that those were aquamarine, you know. Uh, your white crackle quartz at 4 mil, your magnesite plain beads at 4.5 mil, your labradorite rondelles are graduated. The graduations go from 6 by 2 to 7 by 4 and a 30 centimeter strand i love that i think you've got elegance on the one side you've got your daytime jewelry with the denim blues and then you've got the fun haven't you with the magnesite you should be paying 32 pounds for this we're going to give you a 10 pound saving by coming shopping with us today 21 pounds and 95 pence so you're making a 10 pound saving which is just wonderful you can get creating straight away 0800 644 is that telephone number to be calling and the code that you need is jag c83 luscious luscious to have your company today here on jewelry maker now make sure you are checking out baskets i'm going going to give to you now doo -doo -doo -doo. some mookite. We haven't seen mookite for a while, have we? And it's just flowing back in ever so slowly. I just think mookite is so important for your stash if you want solid colour. And that's exactly what I've got here. You've got your soda light chips as well. There's a certain designer that springs to mind straight away, isn't there, with these. Now, it's not just about these two gemstones. There's also something else incredible. Snowflake Obsidian gives you that monochrome look. Each individual piece has a new look. Some of these are blacker than others, which you can see here, which I think just adds to the pleasure of working with a natural gemstone. Mookite is a gemstone that's only found in one place in the world. You've got the mustards there, you've got the magentas there, you've got the pinks there, you've got the creams there. Just stunning. Now, I would set this strand of fluorite apart from these two. I'd use the creams in conjunction, but I wouldn't mix those two, two together. I'd use this fluorite for something really special. I'd set them into rings of silver. I love that frosted look. I think these are so beautiful. They're definitely going with pearls, 
If you bought these pearls, look at that together. Glorious, absolutely beautiful. Now, one of our gorgeous designers, Sue, has put all of them together and they do look fab. I'm just a bit of a wimp when it comes to, I am a total wimp when it comes to blending my jewelry. You could create something like this. Or you could do what I've done. I've, I've kept these colors quite delicate together. Have a look. Are you ready? Eight ninety five, you see that's that's a joke. You're not even you need this for the fact that this is a ridiculous price tag and maybe you're going to be using gemstones you've never used before. I think the fluorite's worth more than eight ninety five. The moo kite we see for more than that. This is incredible. Eight pounds and 95 pence. You're paying less than three pounds a strand, right? Two pounds something a strand. Crazy on a stick. HAG, C31 is your item code. Well done to anybody. If you've got those pills, you've got to get this fluorite to go with because I think they look beautiful. Absolutely stunning. Absolutely stunning. Just beautiful. Can we do the moonstone next? A brand new strand. Thank you. Have a look at this. Graduated and gorgeous. <gasps> Straight away, I want to make a necklace out of this. Do you? Look at that. Let me just sort myself out. Now, what I want to draw your attention to is a brand new color of moonstone that I've not yet seen. It's the first time I've seen it. This is a very different strand to any other, I could just call it moonstone, I meant moonstone, moonstone we've ever, ever, ever had because we've got the smoky tones in there. Those smoky browns are in this strand. I've seen once or twice those deep, deep apricots, but this strand is special because of those really rare smoky tones that you can see within this strand of moonstone. Breathtaking with the peach. Stunning, stunning together. And what I love about this strand is that all of the colors blend so beautifully into this. You could do a color fusion. I love that the center one is larger than the others. So you could create a ring and a matching necklace, a matching bracelet natalia colors like this in moonstone just don't happen often no they're so exquisite aren't they and and look at the the real color definition so you know you could grade them you could um, match them up to make earrings um and they're very clear stones. sometimes um moonstone can be quite muddy can't it you yeah know, they're, they're poorer quality but that one is uh, is lovely and clear we're talking about a strand of absolute excellence. The shiller that you get from every gemstone is exquisite. The clarity, and not often do we see clarity in moonstone, Natalia. These are some of the best moonstones we've seen for earrings, for bracelets, for necklaces. A gems of distinction strand unlike any other exclusive and brand new will go so well with your zircon you need to be on the phones for these i thought we were going so much higher nine pounds and 95 pence is your price tag and i'm going to be honest with you i knew that this was a strand of absolute distinction this is a strand that is set far away from any of the other strands that we've ever seen here at jewelry maker because it's so different in colour. A huge well done to anybody that's got theirs. 
WQS F41. These mix so well with pearls. Have you got any pearls in your collection? It just does, doesn't it? It's now time to give you yet another fabulous strand. The oldest gemstone known to man is about to become one of your favorites if you've never worked with it before. Never confuse zircon with cubic zirconia. Cubic zirconia is a dirty word in this building for it is a man-made gemstone. Zircon is the gemstone that is most likely to be mistaken for a diamond out of any other natural gemstone. The sparkle and the brilliance is what it's all about with this December's birth gemstone. Zircon is a joy to work with, an absolute pleasure to bring you here on the show today at Jewelry Maker, and you're going to love them. Set them into anything that you want to sparkle, and believe me, you're not seeing half the sparkle on your screen as you will do when you get this home and out into the natural sunlight. Look at all of the different colors, totally and utterly natural. We date this gemstone so far back that it is the oldest gemstone in history known to man. The first gemstone, zircon. Absolutely beautiful. Natalia, I suppose because you do set a lot of um, precious and semi-precious gemstones, that you have to source gemstones like Zircon when you can't get them here at, uh, at Jewelry Maker elsewhere. And it is an important gemstone, isn't it, to have in our collections? It is, and look at it, look at the cut of that. Isn't that just fabulous? Um, you can imagine setting that into any kind of piece of jewelry how it will grace that piece of jewellery, how it's going to glitter and shine and make it look so expensive and classy. And you know, and that's what you're getting here, isn't it? You're getting some kind of luxurious strand of something very, very special. And when you say the oldest gemstone, don't you think that that gives it some kind of gravitas already, no matter how Absolutely. beautiful it looks? Absolutely. And can you imagine the myths and legends out there? Yeah connected with this wonderful gemstone. I'm really in love with stuff like that. Me too. You know, I love to imagine, you know, what was going on at the time that that was forming and me too. I'm a great believer in story. We're very <laughs> sentimental, you and I, and we're very yeah. superstitious. Yeah. And I agree with that. And, and do you know what? Not just that, Natalia. I like to engage with people. So if I was selling my jewelry on, I can engage in a conversation with uh, my customers about the gemstones I am using. You mm. can't do that with plastic. No. You can't do that with glass. Yeah, and it just has so much more meaning, doesn't it? You know, people are buying into you when you're selling your stuff, and so you need to give them a reason to buy. Just look at this. It's about to become yours from the Collector's Choice selections this will come beautifully packaged and it really is a privilege and a joy to work with. It's an absolutely exquisite strand and I think so important to be able to offer your clients, your customers, something as special as Zircon and at a crazy price tag of 6 95 This is a Gems of Distinction strand. Well, I could be asking you for double or triple that amount, but I'm not. T-R-U, T-F-R-U, 21 is your item code. Now, these approximate between four by one to eight, to sorry, five by two on an 18 centimeter strand. Six pounds and 95 pence is your price tag. Please be sure to check out Baskets if you are shopping with us online today. And uh, please bear with the queues. As you can imagine, the phone lines are buzzing busy. Loads of you there. If you're experiencing an engaged tone, please hang up and read out. What was that, Kim? It would over 100 of these have been allocated in the time that I've been bringing these to you. We're about to tell you they're limited. Oh my goodness, so many of you multi-buying and I cannot blame you. This is incredible. The clarity, the colors, the fact that you have got a gemstone that you can boast about, a gemstone that you can put on a pedestal. It's all here for you now in this Zircon Strand. TR, sorry, I can't get that wrong, don't I? Uh, TR. 
U21. Most of the stock now being allocated. Well over half has gone well over half. Uh, so well done to you. Goodness me, 6.95. It's bananas, is that? Oh, I love this. Now, Natalia, because you've got such a huge design background, I'm going to compare you to the likes of P Paloma Picasso. Oh, my goodness. If you don't mind. Yes. Well, you know, I am just her equivalent. I'm her British equivalent. Aren't Absolutely. I, really? Paloma Picasso, of course, designs jewellery for a big, 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 big <laughs> jewellers. And um, her designs are off the wall, aren't they? They're just amazing. If you've never seen Paloma's designs, please go and check them out. So give her a little bit of a, a web search. Amazingly talented jeweller that uses lapis lazuli. What is it about lapis lazuli that so many of the big designers and, and artistic designers in fact you love love what is it about this gemstone natalia i don't know i can only speak for myself and just say you know historically it's uh, it's been very favored it's a beautiful gemstone you know the richness of the color and um, and then there's beautiful gold flex it gives it that luxury feel and um it's just incredibly beautiful um, and, you know the Egyptians used it a lot you know you see in all of the, the kind of hieroglyphics and the paintings on the tombs that's exactly that's why I love it we went to the British Museum in the, the last half term and uh, just to see the turquoises and the lapis amazing these colors are striking and I think if you are a designer if you do have that like I talk about Cherry and Gemma and Natalia being from design backgrounds and you can tell in their jewelry and there are you don't have to be in a design but you know that I am absolutely rubbish at things like that but I can get inspiration and I do get inspiration and it's one of those gemstones that you will be truly inspired by lapis lazuli has had its own documentary on a uh, terrestrial channel about six months ago there's a fascinating story behind this gemstone it is a gemstone that uh, is mainly sourced in afghanistan not always but some of the best lapis lazuli in the world is, is sourced in afghanistan it's a gemstone that the aztecs and the egyptians adored and it's dramatic and it's beautiful and it naturally has these dramatic inclusions of pyrite that make it really really special i'm going to give you not only the hearts but also the rounds. The creations are already in your mind, aren't they? Because we have got those pretty four mil rounds and we have got the uh, 12 mil hearts. Anything that you can create out of a heart is special. Sentimental pieces that, you know, when you think about for yourself, even without your business head on, if you're going out now and you're buying a present for your best friend, for your sister, for your mum, for your daughter, and you see something really pretty with a heart, sentimentally, you go for that piece, don't you? Because of the message behind it. I'm also going to give you what I find the perfect, the perfect edition, pyrite. Now, I love this. I absolutely love it. Enhance the inclusion. I think that this is certainly the Egyptian collection for you. I've got some jewellery that has been made up by one, one of our wonderful beading mothers. Look at these dragonflies, they're amazing. Let me see who did these. Aren't they fabulous? Yes, of course, because hearts can be wings as well, can't they? Made up by Sue. Well done, Sue. I think they're fantastic. The earrings are fab, aren't they? Now, if you want to create, I've also got a necklace. To show you, you can make a flower out of these hearts as well. Dragonflies there too. Are you ready for this incredible trio? I'm giving you what I think should be the price for just the hearts, but it isn't. You're getting such an incredible price tag at the moment for Lapis Lazuli. To know what a special gemstone it is, to see how expensive jewellery with this wonderful gemstone can be, 
you're about to get one of the most insane deals. Are you ready? Pick up the phone, FJG, C67, because for £14.95, you've got yourself an incredible bundle 0800 655 is the number to be calling for lapis lazuli and pyrite you are buzzing 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 it is lush to have your company today now i'm going to give you oh let's carry on that blue theme oh we got shell pearl so many, so many customers at the moment, so many of you luscious ladies and gentlemen are asking for shell pearl. We haven't been out. I said to Hannah Oxbury, Oxbury, Lady Oxbury, how go thee and why have we not had any shell pearl? She cannot get it. She can't get it. Maybe she's too nice. I don't know. She should demand things more. I don't know. Have a look at these. Mink shell pearl. Already you're on the lines for these are mother of the bride perfect aren't they yeah definitely absolutely stunning and look at what else i've got such a striking strand of highlight for you <gasps> inky blues do you know what we hardly see highlight i love the story behind highlight as well the old viking story i love excuses to talk to people as you know no one can ever get me off the phone or if they do, I just blurt out all my, I'm like, blur, 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 like I did to Natalia yesterday. She went, uh, 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 bye. put the phone down. <laughs> and she went, uh, 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 bye, bye Natalia. Um, now, Iolite is one of those gemstones that you're gonna talk to your, um, you're gonna talk to your customers about all the time. The Viking story, that the Vikings could see the sun through the clouds of this gemstone. It has a polarizing quality uh, that makes that, made that possible. And my gosh, I love the color. Inkwell blues sometimes is um, mistaken for other gemstones like Tanzanite because you do get this player chroism with eye light. It's lovely reds. Now have a look, you've got the blue agate and you've also got those bubbles of clear quartz. How stunning is this bundle? IQG C66. Very limited stock. Four strands. And you've got the shell pearl, 10 mil rounds. Loads of you on the phone. As soon as I said shell pearl, the phone line's lit up. It's luscious to have you all on board. The per Do you know what? Kim's saying these are like a purpley. Yeah, they are, I suppose. I was calling them mink, but they are a purpley, aren't they? It's called Riding the Wave. I like that. IQG C66, 14.95. You've got a strand of distinction in the eye light there. You've got a beautiful strand of clear quartz there. You've got the agate there for your beady beads. And those gorgeous rounds are four mil. Uh, let me give you the dimensions. The clear quartz rounds are six mil on a 30 centimeter strand, and your eye light graduated ovals are six by four to 10 by six on a 28 centimeter strand. Be sure to be checking out baskets now as soon as you possibly can. Now we are going to press on. More shell pearl and some druzy. White shell pearl. <gasps> These are huge. Oh, I love them. Oh, I love them. Straight away, I wanted to try these on. Now, shell pearl is not the same as faux pearl. Please don't ever confuse the two. Faux pearl is the sort of pearl you see in a supermarket or the cheap um, but wonderful clothes store that we all come to mind that's got accessories and pretty much everything else. Uh, they are made faux pearl, usually out of just balls of glue, resin, and uh, just got like a little pearly paint on them. Uh, shell pearl, it's not the same. Shell pearl is in fact created from reconstituted pearl that hasn't made the grade for jewellery, but has been crushed down and formed into one big pearl. That can include um, actual shell as well, mother of pearl shell. And, uh, and I just think these are beautiful. They're stunning. I'm thinking a bridal now with these gorgeous shell hearts. And they're 10 mil. And look at this. The best golden obsidian strand 
This looks like black moonstone. It's absolutely gorgeous. And that's not everything that you get because you also get a wonderful piece of druzy that I'm gonna show you in its made up form. Have a look at the size of this druzy. And we were talking about the druzy just earlier, Natalia, weren't we, and how wonderful it is. Yeah, we were, and saying how great. We don't see enough of it. We just don't, do we? Look at this jewellery. And this jewellery has been made up by Rosanna, who is Italian, not French. Obviously, the clue is in the name. Everyone, it was you that told me she was French last time, Tom, wasn't it? Have a look. I love Rosanna. She's great at um, soutache. She's wonderful. Let me show you again. You've got your golden obsidian, your shell pearl, and your hearts. Three gorgeous gemstones. Um, Kim, could you please tell me the dimensions of the shell pearl, darling? 12 mil, these are huge. I thought they were 14, if I'm honest. And what about the obsidian? Are those eight mil? I'm gonna give you a close up of the obsidian. It's beautiful. Look at that. Ooh, I like that, do you? Let's give you a try us out price tag. ORG C37. One or two ways in which you can come and grab these. I do think that the hearts are going to look striking in your tiaras and fascinators. Should be paying over £20 for this when we put them together for you as a trio. We're going to give you the price tag of just £14 and 95 pence with, of course, as always, a 30 day money back guarantee. 0800 ORG C37. 37 sleek and chic what would you create out of these natalia uh sorry i'm just <laughs> focusing and seeing what you've got there um we've got hang on i'll just I put it up on sorry, the big I screen for see. you there you go thank you big shell pearl Ooh. gorgeous hearts um, and the obsidian i think i would probably do a big necklace and I'd have a bit pendanty style beady bead mm. in the centre. Do something really special with that druzy. Maybe make a ring out of that druzy. Maybe make. You know, I haven't shown pearl. everybody the druzy just on its own. Individual pearls would look great as a ring as well, wouldn't they? They would because they're big. Mm -hmm. Let's have a look. Here's the druzy. It's uber sparkly, isn't it? I love it. Okay, I'm going to give you a bit of a recap right now. Oh, can we do the bundle first? Thank you. Have a look. She's laughing at me for saying thank you. Um, now. The best strand out of this bundle for me has got to be the genuine freshwater organic pearls. Look at this. Pretty and petite, just beautiful. Absolutely stunning. They are between seven and eight mil. <gasps> With the rose quartz, I love that combination. I think these are striking. Eight mil, ooh. With the power shell, these are gorgeous. 16 by 12. Now I would put, look at these. Is this wood? It's green magnesite. I'd put one of these in between, you got 50 carats. I'd also put them in between the pearls. I love this. And then you've got a really pretty strand of crackle quartz. Whether you're going to put these all together or separate them, they're fabulous. What I'm going to do is just refresh your memory. Yesterday, we had a strand of pearls for 17.95, not unlike this. They were nine mil, tiny bit bigger, tiny bit rounder, 
But if you missed out on those, grab this bundle. You're going to get a ridiculous price. The price tag for the pearls we gave you yesterday was 17.95. Have a look at these. Because they're elegant, because they're beautiful, you should always use pearls. Natalia, are you a fan of pearls? I love pearls. It's my birthday. So I When's your birthday adore then? Them. Soon? Uh, last week. What last day? Wednesday. So it's the 5th of June. Happy birthday to Natalia. Thank Happy 5th you. Of June. We don't talk, and I. don't talk too much about my birthday because I don't want to get older. But, I know, um, but it's nice to have a birthday, a special day. Yes, on my birthday, I'm happy to have the birthday. I just don't want the age that goes with it. Yes, yes. If, if that could happen next year, please, that would yes, be wonderful. Yes, for, forevermore. But um, I love pearls anyway, but I think particularly because it's they're my your birth gemstone. Yes. They're yes. my son's birth gemstone, whose birthday it was last Sunday. And uh, there are also Claire's birth gemstone. When's your birthday? A week Sunday. A week Sunday. So, um, you know what? When you think about them in connection with a loved one, or whether it's your birth gemstone, be careful, Amelia, there's a box in front of you. Are you drunk today? Maybe she actually is. I'm concerned about you. Are you all right, Amelia? You're not having a good day today, chicken. You've just what, sorry, it's having a rubbish day. I don't know what that means. She went, oh, bleep, bleep. She's a day I, off. She's got, I just don't understand her, but in a really fascinating way, I want to mm. know more. Um, you've got those wonderful pearls. They're very romantic, very beautiful, together with the rose quartz. Hang on a minute, because that's not all you get. You've got the quartz. You've got the power shell. You've got the magnesite. This is a wonderful, wonderful bundle. I'll give you the dimensions in just a tick. $17.95 for the price you paid for the pearls yesterday. You get the pearls, the rose quartz, the um, crackle quartz, the power shell, and the magnesite. Now, let me give you the dimensions. The pearls are 7 to 8 mil. The rose quartz are 8 mil. The crackle quartz is also 8 mil. Power shell, 16 by 12. And little four mil rounds in the magnesite. Lots of you dialing for this one. Well done. 0800 644 655. We love your company today. Thank you for keeping it interactive. Now I've got a, I'm going to give you a little bit of a heads up. Natalia has already created the most fantastic jewellery from the challenge today, which we're going to give you an opportunity to get in just a tickle. 17.95 for these. Let's give you first, um, can I just, if you don't mind Kim, I would really like to do the blue coated quartz again because with the pearls, mmm, mmm, look at these two together, mmm, that's right up my street that is really really beautiful and in fact I, th I think I remember saying to you I'd make a, a necklace and I would separate each gemstone with a single freshwater pearl because I think that would look gorgeous so pretty now this is next to any other gemstone the one for me that looks the most like tanzanite a lot like tanzanite doesn't it it looks a lot like tanzanite you have got incredible pinks coming from that mystic coating I don't think anything else does it quite like this strand if you want the big carrot weight this is your strand if you want a strand of gemstones that look very much like one of the world's most popular gemstones tanzanite this is your strand the cut the color the very size of these gemstones mean that they are going to look incredible in your designs. Are you ready to create the most outstandingly beautiful rings? A perfect pendant for £12.95. If you didn't see these earlier, they are now limited stock and they're absolutely gorgeous, proving very, very popular on the website today. I can't wait to see your Wall of Fame pieces created out of this sensational strand. CAG K66 is your item code. You've got 170 carats. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 of these on my strand for just 12.95. That's a pound per gemstone. A little bit less, isn't it? Let me give you a little bit of a um, cheeky recap on that exclusive strand of moonstone with the brand new color in there that I've never seen before. You've got the smoky moonstone included in this strand. Have a little look.
just beautiful, absolutely striking. Aren't they gorgeous? Mix them with your pearls. Kim, have we got any of that wonderful pearl strand left that we had earlier, the coloured? Oh, they've all gone and sold out. I think that's such a wonderful combination of both of Joan's birthstones. We don't ever see Alexandra out here, do we? So get those two. We ever had Alexandra? Be nice, wouldn't it? The graduations range between nine and 12 mil. This is a gemstone of distinction strand. Beautiful, beautiful moonstone in those shades that we haven't seen before for just nine pounds and 95 pence. A great strand for you if you want to create those tapered pieces, if you want to make graduations, if you want gorgeous earrings, a ring. This is a really versatile strand for all of those different techniques. I'd love to see these separated with a rosary link or two as well. The code for you, WQS for Sierra, Foxtrot 41. They're gorgeous, aren't they? Now, where is my zircon? It's been stolen, I tell you. I haven't got it here. Let me see. Let me give you the bead tube. Amethyst, rose quartz and eyelight is what I've got in this deluxe bead scoop for you. Have a little look at this. Our brand new bead scoops a little bit different because each gemstone has been selected for its individual excellence have a look at what you've got just stunning I, I will get them out but I've got to open it then hang on Look at all of these gemstones that you get. It's so nice to have the bead scoops because you start to work sort of outside your comfort zone. You will get one or two shapes in here that you've never used before, you've never worked with before. And I actually think that's a great thing. Um, when you're pushed outside of your comfort zone, and I know this is a random comparison, but I stayed at my mum's the other night um, because she lives closer to the studios. And um, she forced me into watching a David Bowie documentary because she's obsessed with David Bowie and I was like, do I have to watch this, mother? Um, anyway, I did have to watch it. And there was a, um, there was a, a musician, I can't remember his name, um, but he worked with David Bowie and she said he was really uncomfortable the whole time because it was completely not his style of music but it was the best music he'd ever done and it was the one that made him the most famous these compilations that he did with David Bowie and the most money in his career were these compilations that he'd done and it's about and I thought actually in life when we're pushed out of our comfort zone whether it's jewelry making I'm not comparing myself or you to David Bowie or making masterpieces of music but what I'm saying is creating out of our comfort zones makes you put together jewelry you never would have created otherwise and nine times out of ten you'll find that that's when you make your most outstanding work are you ready for a wonderful price tag for this bead scoop 6.95 our lowest price gems of distinction bead scoops for you an opportunity for you to grab one of these um, wonderful scoops for the first time. I love the way they're packaged. They make a great gift for anybody that is into jewelry making. Six ninety-five. They got fine drill holes, so you can think about using your uh, 0.25 or your 0.4 wire through these. Aren't they fab? One of our lowest price tags. Well, in fact, is the lowest price tag deluxe bead scoop. You get so many in here as well. Absolutely loads. I'm just, I'm going to try and put these back for Amelia. Ooh! Thank you for trying. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you for trying, she said. Amelia, you are sweet. Yeah, now, let me see. Mm. 
La la la. This is how long it's. This is how many gemstones are in here. That's how long it's taking me to pack them all away. It's crazy and quite ridiculous. Oh my gosh, the eye light in here is stunning. Absolutely stunning. Now, my dear hearts. I'm going to just give you, I'm so sorry that those pearls sold out, but they did, they've gone. Are we going to give Natalia's challenge again? Should we do another? Before we do that, let's, what was in box 18? What do they look like? Oh, I've got those on my desk, that's why they're not in here. The fluorite, the mucite, and the, right, now the price for these is ridiculous. So I'm going to give you a little refresher. For all three gemstones, we were asking, what was the stupid price? Like, stupidly low. 8 95 wasn't it? I'd pay that for the fluorite or the mukai individually, I would. I've seen snowflake obsidian for 6 95 Not fluorite like this in its, in its nugget form, in its natural form. Now, I want to just show you that next to the pearls. Oh, my gosh. And if you bought... Look at these, don't you think that's lush? Look how gorgeous those three are together. If you're lucky enough to get either of those in your stash, then this is most definitely worth the 8.95. But then you've got the added bonus of Mookite, which is wonderful, it can be masculine, it can be feminine, and you've got the Snowflake Obsidian. And the Snowflake Obsidian chips are 10 by four to 34 by four. So if you're really into your textured pieces, a great one for you. Mookite medium nuggets, 6 by 7 to 16 by 10. And your green fluorite frosted nuggets are 11 by 9 to 18 by 10. It's called Chunky. H-A-G C31 is your item code. And for all three strands, you're paying just 8 95 which you would pay for any one of these strands. Well, certainly I'd pay. You'd pay more than that for the fluorite, surely. Isn't this a wonderful deal? It's an amazing deal ridiculous in fact some might say but well done for grabbing it it's a really good idea to pick up the phone right now and get these in your basket if you've already got an open basket and don't forget we give you the live show uh, this evening i think it's with the gorgeous die so if you open your basket today uh, right now when you're shopping with Dye later on at five o'clock, 1 p.m. still up until midnight eight pounds and 95 pence for this trio it's gorgeous let's give you the challenge bundle that I am in love with. This How did you find it, my darling? Good. I loved it. You've been very quiet getting your head down today. I have, with yes. And it's been really nice to, to have a normal kind of show where I could spend a bit of time doing it properly, doing it justice. I've got five pieces, oh, four pieces of jewellery. But um, I've enjoyed working with these gemstones. It's been good. I can see some absolutely gorgeous pieces that you've created already. Now, I've got for you something unlike I've ever seen before. When I looked at this gemstone strand, I did a double take. Tiger's eye that has been coated like this, this would mix beautifully with your copper clay. Yeah, wouldn't it just? I was wouldn't thinking it? that. Now, if you did grab that copper clay or the bronze clay earlier, perfect. This is a strand of absolute gorgeousness. And that is the only way to describe mm -hmm. it. Elegant, beautiful, nine mil rounds, a huge leap and bound um, up from any fasted shell pearl you might have been searching for in this kind of color. They are rainbow coated. And they are just fabulous. You've got golds, you've got bronzes, you've got coppers, all in the one strand. What did you love about these tiger's eye? I just think that they're so beautiful and like you said you know that, that you've got this all these little color variations and I can see um, I've put them in a necklace and I can see them sparkling at me and you can really see the copper and then you see the gold and then you see the bronze kind of um, colors coming out so you get even just in one of the, the stones you've got all of that play of color going on mm -hmm. it's quite fascinating really is, isn't it? And it's just beautiful. I, I mean, there's so much I want to do with these, Natalia. I love them. I'm sure there was so much you could do cluster rings. I want to see these in bracelets. I want a wire wrap yes, around these. Yes. I would do an, a wire wrap around one, miss the next one out, wire wrap around the other, and it'd be cuff style. I think these are beautiful, really beautiful. And then I'm going to give you, oh, I love these. 
Mm. Aren't they gorgeous? I they just are. absolutely adore those. They're the favourite gemstone I've had to work with in a long time. Though. Really? Yeah, love them. Because of the facets, because the colour talked to me about yeah, them. Yeah, the, everything, you know, because the irregularity of them and because that colour, you know, you've got this kind of rainbow effect going on inside mm. them as well. Chiselled kind of look, isn't it? Definitely. Definitely. I love the facets on these. Yeah. And the way the light bounces off them and every single facet gives you that mystic luster. It does. And when I tried to put them, to absorb them into a necklace with other gemstones, it didn't work. They needed to be on their own to, you know, reflect the light yeah. around and to act like little kaleidoscopes almost. So that's what I did with them. That's but exactly so what I did. quite they interesting are. to see. They almost told me what to do with them. A showcase collection, absolutely striking. The quartz on its own is just under £20, I've seen it before. Mm. We're going to give you the whole bundle for £27.95. and pence. I think you've got a steal. This is for you if you're creating glamorous cocktail dress um, style jewellery. This is for you if you're creating for boutiques. It's very, very boutique and absolutely gorgeous. Now, you also had, Natalia, our Moonstone Tube, which I don't have with me here. Because I used it. Have you got it already, Natalia? Well, it's in the jewellery. <laughs> it, of course gone. it's in the jewellery. It's, it's in my jewellery, she said. Yeah. Where is it? Maybe. We're going to give you... We'll, we'll show it to you in the jewellery, in fact. We're going to go on over to the gorgeous Natalia and have a look at those gems. It's the tigers. I am absolutely in love with no, it, Natalia. No, the quartz and the tigers. I am the moonstone. It's all going on. It's just it's gorgeous. Going on. Now let's have a look. Oh, wow. oh my gosh. <gasps> These earrings are uber vintage. <laughs> yeah. They're very burlesque, actually. Yeah, they are, actually, aren't they? It wasn't yes. kind of intending to, to make them like that, but they sort of ended up that way. I love they? them. I think these are beautiful. Aren't they gorgeous? And I've used the antique finding. You have the to. Bronze You'd have to, wouldn't you? It looks so good. Definitely agree with that. The antique wire in the drawer and uh, the chanteur's wire goes really well, doesn't it? The green, yes. it picks the green out in the quartz. And I think you could do that with the pink wire. You could yeah. whatever coloured wire you use, those gemstones would start to mimic that. They would pick those colours out. Look at the antique findings here and how well they go with that tiger's eye. This would be stunning in a tiara as well. Yes, her. wouldn't it? Yeah, yes. it would be lovely, like a sun ray kind of snow cream tiara, I think. I think they're beautiful. Absolutely striking. And you've made a pendant on the far necklace here. Now, here's the moonstone that you got. How did you find it? The moonstone and the smoky Yeah, quartz. really nice because you can you can have these kind of little patterns of colour because you've got mm. greys and creams and like an, an orange terracotta -y kind of colour which I've used in the earrings. But really nice and they all blend in beautifully. And then you've got a very Gatsby piece on yes, the end. Yes, I know, because I love the tassels and I always like to use tassels. And I know people are kind of, it's like a Marmite thing, isn't it? You either love them or you hate them, but I love them so I, love I them. use them in my designs. That's do what people I, do. Hate, I love them. And people just say, oh, I like that without the tassels. Well, you're either a tassel person or you're not, and I'm a tassel person. In indeed, you are. <laughs> indeed, you are. And I the love more that. More the better. That's yeah, me. If it's definitely. too plain, I don't too want it. Too much is not enough. No, that's right. Absolutely. More is more. <laughs> <laughs> we're so similar, it's ridiculous. Yeah, I know. This that's is why scary. we're not allowed together in a room with a wine <laughs> bottle. We've never it? been in a room together. That's what, we're not allowed. There was a there was I've a shade a of a chance, wasn't there, in March, and then you went home. So we never yeah, I was, I know, yeah, I um, it, that was in the when we were doing the NEC. Yeah, isn't it wonderful? Yeah. And then I had to change. Uh, I changed days with Vicky, uh, beautiful car, and um, and and she, I'm sure, enjoyed a wine or two. No, she didn't stay. She didn't stay in that hotel. Oh well, if it, I'd yeah. stayed, we'd have bought the house down. Yeah, it was Laura Banting and Gemma and Cherry and oh, Hannah Oxbury. Say no more, <laughs> Hannah Oxbury. <laughs> bad Messy night. Bad influence. I'm a good girl. I want everyone to know that. It's just when you put me with bad apples, I turn bad.
No, you are incorrigible. Yeah, and yeah I'm tell very you what, what it is is <laughs> that with Natalia I might say something and I'll add to it and she'll and it's you yeah. can see where it's going. Yeah. So that's why I should be in a convent really to yeah. protect me. Oh really? <laughs> 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 anyway, we digress. Nine ninety five. Have a look, and that's for the new music. Just look at these tigers, like they're beautiful. Now, Natalia, talk to me. Next workshop, please. I want oh, to know. Oh, I can't remember. Was it the twenty seventh, Claire? Because you were getting booked in on it, weren't you? I think. I think this is where I go. I get so confused. Twenty first, twenty seventh, something like that. There's there's copper clay workshops. There's um, silver clay introduction and silver clay rings, and it's all on the website. All the dates are on there. Anyway, all the dates so. are on there. Claire and I are going to be um, and and Kim. We're going to be <laughs> and the next one where it's our shift side. We're all coming. Oh, okay. So you're going to fill the workshop up with yes, maker and employees. we'll make sure there's extra snacks that day yeah, actually because I'm a bit greedy when it comes to really. snacks, aren't I? It makes very hungry jewelry making though. I have to say, I'm yeah, it does. I'm always, I'm always hungry. Yeah, I think there's something wrong with me. I'm never not hungry. Now, please don't forget the wonderful mm. Di, who of course is a jewelry maker herself, is going to be up with you at five tonight, and uh, we've got some special treats and a guest designer for you as well. So, Di, I'll see you at five, and I will see you on Monday. We'll see you later. Have a wonderful afternoon and a wonderful weekend. Do you need a helping hand to get started with Jewelry Maker? Are you stuck for ideas and need inspiration? Then visit our Jewelry Maker website where you can find our video tutorials. Expand your knowledge and skills with these easy to follow jewelry making demonstrations. Whether you're a beginner, hobbyist or business owner, there's always something new to learn. It couldn't be easier. Simply click and learn some new jewelry making techniques. The Jewelry Maker Wall of Fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jewelry designer. And each week, one lucky entrant will win £100 credited to their Jewelry Maker account and the runner up receives £50. If you want to enter your design, just send a photo to studio at jurymaker.com or you can post your photos to Wall of Fame, The Genuine Gemstone Company, Unit 2D, Eagle Road, Moon's Moat, Redditch, B989HF. We all know you need the right tools for the job, so here at Jewelry Maker, we have designed a kit to make sure you have all the essentials to join in with the fun. With round nose, flat nose and wire cutter pliers, as well as a reamer, tweezers and a bead scoop, you've got everything you need in one place for just $9.95. We provide the tools, you provide the skills. When you place your first order with us, you will receive a free booklet and DVD full of handy hints, tips and tutorials to help you get started with your new Jewelry Maker hobby. You can now keep in touch by liking Jewelry Maker UK on Facebook. Get interactive with Jewelry Maker. There are two easy ways to purchase from Jewelry Maker. You can watch our show on Sky, Virgin, Freeview or Freesat and call our free phone number where you'll be put through to our friendly help team who can place your order. Alternatively, you can go to our website and click the sign up button. Once you have filled in the required details, you can start shopping. You can watch the show by clicking the on air now button on the front page. You can also use our quick search tool and narrow down your results. Once you have found an item that you like, you simply click on the buy now button and the item will be added to your basket. Don't forget that you can add as many items to your basket per day for only one P&P. Enjoy shopping with Jewelry Maker.